This is Cherubon, one of the spiritual centers of Indonesia. We are here for an unforgettable experience. We are exploring the people, the culture, and most importantly, the delicious food. This is where two cultures meet, Sundanese and Javanese, and it's why Cherubon has some of the best food I've ever had. Now we will have a short one and a half hour ride to Cherubon, the city in coastal West Java. I'm still in West Java. Different people, different food, different culture. Let's go. Six in the morning, the two hour drive. We'll be there by eight. We have one full day. The next day we're going to Saramang. Hmm? Samarang. Samarang. Yeah. So we have to do a lot today. That's there you go, bro. Here. All right, let's check out, sir. Yes, sir. Hatuna Hun, Hatuna Hun. See you soon. All right, let's go. You good, bro? Yeah. Good morning, yes, I'm ready. Let's do this. <laughs> let's go. I gotta put it on, it's like this. Is that good, Ari? Mm-hmm. Even? So we're changing it up. I'm not wearing a Sundanese This one is hat. from uh, Nusa Tenggara. Nusa Tenggara. Yeah, it's Obali. Nusa Tenggara. Nusa Tenggara Islands. That's great. Cool. I'm ready. Let's run road, two hours. Right now, it's six in the morning, and there's people everywhere yeah, doing a million things. Yeah, it's super busy in Bandung. Bandung is on fire right now. Later in uh, central Japanese city like Solo, six, they just start. They just start uh, later because they're a little bit relaxed. Solo people, the city that I born, I was born. They chill. They chill. They <laughs> slow. Sorry, solo. I'm solo. <laughs> not, they just uh, go with the flow and not too ambitious like, like Jakarta or Bali. Yeah, yeah. So, more relaxed. More relaxed. So if you have anything to do, to do some business, like you have to be patient and uh, have to wait, like surfaces and stuff. Wow. You have to be a little bit patient in solo. <laughs> That's the name, yeah. Alright, the you know this road is like perfect, huh? They just open it, you see that not many cars in the highway mm -hmm. because they just open it maybe less than a month, I think wow. or, or or more than a month. So before this it used to take like three, four hours to get a set of on? Yeah, before this you have to take the old road, not without uh, not the highway not the highway. And the route is uh, through the hills. I think it's one and a half hours. We left the hotel by six. Now 7.30, we're almost there. So one and a half hours, just very fast to go to the Cirebon. From the hill of West Java to the coastal of West Java. It's amazing. Different cultures already. I can't wait for Cirebon, bro. Another yeah. City. I always get excited for new cities. Just 10, 15 minutes, we will arrive at the factory of Botok. The local Cirebon sweet, uh, wrap in and steam in banana leaves. It's amazing. So it's like botox, but with K. Botox, botox. So we we made the Cirebon. And the, maybe another ten minutes, but we stop at the mini market first. You can go to the toilet. Okay. You good, bro? Okay. Yeah, I'm awesome. I slept. I'm ready to go. Amazing. We are in a place called Trust Me. <laughs> Trust, Trust, Trust me. me. Trust Me. It's Trust Me, an area, the batik producer area of Cirebon. Cirebon. But we are not here to buy batik, but we'll try a dish called Botok Cirebon. Botok. It's a de dessert, sweet uh, steam dessert from Cirebon. Let's find how they made it and we'll try some of them. So we're going to like a small factory. Yes. Love it. We're like in the back where the houses are. Beautiful. You can already feel the heat. Like we were in the hills in Bandung, Bandung. Now we're in Cherbon or Cherbonji. 
Cherebonje. Cherebonje. Salam pagi from Cherebonje, a small city on the coast in West Java. And we just arrived 8 in the morning. And today we're going to start off at this Botox factory. Botox, not Botox. This is a sweet uh, that's made from rice. Yeah, it's Botox. And it's sweet, uh, made from rice and other ingredients. And a very specialty of Cherebon. And this is the factory where they made it. And we will find out like five kinds of Botox they made. Wow. I think that's the factor right there. To be honest yeah. with you, I have no idea where we are. We just got to the city and we came to a small alley. And then over here we have a few houses. Even Ari was confused yeah. of where this place is. I was is. here like seven years ago. <laughs> like, no sign or everything. So we just asked the locals and they point out the place. This is the factory where they made like 100 packets a day. And at this time of day, like 8, 9 in the morning, many people come like the rest sellers. So the vendors that they will take it to many markets of Chirabon and they sell it to the community. So we will find uh, community members, the locals here, they, they will come with bicycle or motorbike yeah. to sell their produce. Uh, Amazing. Yeah. And so Chirabon is on the coast, very different climate here comp compared to Bandung up yeah. there in the hills here, very hot very different and the culture here is like a mix between Sundanese and Javanese and they have their own dialect of Javanese. Missy, Ibu, lagi bikin botok ya? Hello. Hello. So this is like mung beans and banana. Ini kacang hijau ya Bu ya? So they're making it. They put it in the package like that. There's banana leaves and then they steam it. Maybe 10, 15 minutes and it's done. You can try it. I'm hungry, man. I'm hungry too. Steam the parcel for one hour and it's, you can put it outside the uh, fridge for 24 hours. So they go to the market until this evening. They, we can still consume without have to put it in the fridge. Name is Sapa. Name is Sapa. David. David. David Beckham, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so this one's with banana and bread, and then they have some soup that they mix with, like a sauce. Yeah, this one, this is the ingredient. So like banana or bread, piece of bread. And there's a concoction made from egg, palm sugar, and coconut milk. Basically, it's like a steamed pudding. Because wow. there's egg in it, right? So they set like that. When you, uh, before they steam, it's a liquid like that. It's amazing. You steam it for one hour, it becomes set and becomes like a pudding, like... And the best uh, how to consume it, just put it in the fridge for a bit. Oh. So it cools it a little bit? Yeah. Delicious, man. I can't wait. This one smells sweet. Mm -hmm. The banana. Mm -hmm. And they have uh, sweet potato. So this one's with banana and bread. This one's with sweet potato. Yeah. This one is mung bean. Mung bean? Mung bean. Uh, unhasked mung bean. Usually you have a green green uh, cover cell and then they unhas it. This is the inside of mung bean. So mung bean is like a, like a flower, like a, um, yeah. what's it called? Yeah. It, it's like a like super uh, airy flower. Yes. No, not flower. Uh, sorry, it's like a rice, rice flower, rice, rice flower. flower. Okay. So wow, it smells good. The local world name is Kacang Ijo, Kacang. Incredible. And so this is only happening right now between 8 in the morning and 9, yeah. like a short, short window. Short window because they don't sell it right here, right to the consumer actually. They sell it through the retailers outside. You can see the reseller come and they have their own area. Like my area is like a uh, sub district of Trust Me. So they sell it wholesale the and wholesale. then they sell it. Yeah. So the usually they take it like 20, 30 packets, the reseller, mm -hmm. and they go with their bicycle or motorbike to a certain area or market in Chirabon, which is their area of uh, marketing area. So they cannot be like two reseller in some place, in the same place. And so this is uh, something you can eat throughout the whole day? Throughout the whole day, just be served for the whole day. And once it's cooked, it's uh, retained the freshness for 24 hours. So you can keep it for the whole day. You can have it uh, after dinner, it's still okay. And the price is 3,000 rupiah. Like 20 cents. 20 cents. <laughs> yeah. How many varieties? Three? Uh, four. Four? Four. Wow, so I'm trying all four right now. Yes. I'm ready. I'm excited. This is amazing. Just being here and everybody's so friendly. They're like, come, come, shoot. And what's that coconut um, milk? That's coconut milk. Yeah. This one is sweet potato. Mm -hmm. Sweet potato. Yeah, sweet potato. And this? Palm sugar. Palm sugar. Oh, so extra sweetness. 
and they put a piece of pandan leaf type of screw pine leaf that they use they make it uh, with the vanilla of Southeast Asia can you smell it? oh it's amazing yeah. So we use this to put the aromatic into sweet dishes, dessert, or and also drinks like simple syrup. Even some savory uh, food, they also use this. David's been here. David. David. B A A N. Here. David's been here. Follow on TikTok. TikTok. This is amazing. Indonesia! Indonesia! Wow, I love this country. This country is too good. So nice. Everybody's so kind. In places like Cirebon, we have Ibu Ibu, Baba Pa, ladies and gentlemen, they, they come inside. Uh, and outside the village with a lot of food with bi bicycle or motorbike like that you can see the motorbike that's the food uh, soup snacks crackers rice and the community they don't have to go out to the market to get uh, a bite for breakfast they just stop a uh, vendor like this and we can have a meal for a day it is a moving supermarket that's exactly what it is 8 a.m to 9 a.m that's all they do one hour and they're done you ready bro Oh, so like five varieties. Five varieties. Yeah. So we get big one. Oh, I need this. Oh, yeah. And this one in unsweetened tea because the bottle is already sweet. Mm -hmm. So it's best enjoy with unsweetened tea or coffee. I love this. The banana leaf. Yeah, you open the packet. Mm -hmm. This is from coconut. So pull this out. Yeah. Just stick out. Okay. Yeah. You can see. Oh, wow, so yes. delicate. Oh, it smells amazing. Yeah, you got the bread one, I think. That's bread? Oh, uh, yeah. It's like a fluffy, fluffy rice. Fluffy souffle. Souffle. Chirabon souffle. I'm gonna get inside. Get some of that. Yeah, I got the... Oh, wow, what is that? Mine is a banana. Red, oh, that one is the sweet potato. Mm. Mm. The pandan, coconut milk. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of flan. Not too sweet. Not too I sweet. Like yeah. Yours, I think, is the sweet potato. I got the banana mixed with uh, a flesh of coconut. Oh, you wow. can see the banana. That's amazing. Right? This is like a falling apart flan, mm -hmm. like a lava cake. Mm -hmm. Like oozing mm. Mm. botox. It almost tastes like alcoholic, that one. The banana, they they choose the very ripe banana, so slightly fermented. Uh, the pleasant aroma of uh, the ripe banana. Wow, this is delicious. So decadent though, full sugar. Sweet potato on the bottom, you have this nice glaze. I eat? Yes. Enak. Okay. Enak. Good afternoon. My name is Ika. Ika? Yeah. I'm from Singapore. Ah. Oh. David, America. Oh, America. America. <laughs> okay. That's so nice. I, I, I know. Married. Ne no married. No married. Okay, yeah. Single parent. Single parent. Okay. Single parent as well. Oh. I'm married. Yeah. Yeah. I'm married. I'm married. I'm married. I'm married. I'm married. I'm married. I'm Yes, so nice. <laughs> this is the uh, mang bean. Mang beans. Mang beans. This one looks more grainy. Yeah, the mang beans. Apples. This one is made from mang beans, kacang hijau. You can tell it's a body, starchy, little bit. Not too sweet. Yeah, it's way more sweet. I like this one. one. Yeah. I like it too, but the banana one's the best one so far. The fluffy one. Yeah. Yeah, I love the fluffiness of this one. Let me ask you, so this has been a tradition forever? A tradition forever in this place, uh, this, the, the part of town. Not only this producer, so many producers. Ow, oh, oh my god. What's that? The same one. I think the same Looks one. the same. It's so hot. 
Ya, yeah, that's kacang hijau. Same. Let's see, same? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's nice. This is not my favorite. Bahasa. Bahasa is the, English, Bahasa. Bahasa is the, the Indonesian <laughs> language. They got 700 national languages. Bahasa is spread throughout the whole country, but throughout every city is a different language. We went through uh, Sundanese, now we're going to enter Javanese territory where they speak more Javanese. The next series we're going to here, it's a Javanese dialect. Sarabunje is di dialect from Java. This is the, uh, what they call it, agar-agar. You know, agar-agar. Agar-agar, agar, agar, like a jelly made from agar-agar. It's like, uh, what you call it, the one, it's seaweed. Seaweed? Seaweed, yeah. Oh, I love it. Like, almost like simas? Would you say simas? Simas. Yeah, it's something they have in the Caribbean. It's very, it's like the jelly of seaweed. The jelly seaweed? Yeah. They made it into pudding, like a, exactly. like a jello. Exactly, that's what it like is. Like a jello, yeah. Let's see it here. They just finished this, so it's not set. In an hour, it's like set like a jello. Got it. Yeah. But so the best thing the, to do is put this in the fridge. Yeah, it's like a flan. It is exactly like flan. Yeah. It's gonna be hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The best one. Falafetti, smooth. I don't have more. I like this one the most. Yeah, yeah. super smooth. Yeah. Mm. The flan of chirebonje. Yeah, it's that, that sweetness in that water. Mm -hmm. So what's in that? Coconut milk, egg, the jelly, the agar agar, like a powder agar agar, mm -hmm. some pandan leaves. That's it. That's it. That's it. And what does one of these cost? 20 right. cents. 20 cents. Yeah. Mm. This one's the best. Good. I like the fluffiness of this one. Yeah, this one is the sweet potato, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. White sweet potato. White sweet potato. Yeah, we get variety of potato here. White, orange, yellowish, and also purple. This one is the white one. Uh, white one is a little bit starkier and not too sweet, but they also put some uh, sugar. I mean, it's thicker. Mm -hmm. It's definitely more filling, but I want to mix this together. Okay. I love the coconut milk here. Good idea. Oh, well, I like the cream. It's like a... Mm -hmm. this, uh, Coconut milk cream. And it's like, but it's rice, that one. Rice and coconut milk mix. Wow. So what do we, we tried four. And that's consumed with unsweetened warm tea. Teh tawar. Teh tawar. And by the way, we don't, so we don't cheers, right? Because the culture, there's no cheering in, uh, in Islam. To my understanding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So we just finished up eating these delicious botoks. botoks. They're botoks. so Roti. good, so good. I really enjoyed it. You know, the experience of the food is very different when you see it being made. When you go and see the process of how people make it with love all by hand, there's something very special about it. And the food is delicious, but the experience, even better. Wow. Makasi, makasi. Makasi. Sama sama. Sama sama. I'm lost in translation, guys. The hottest place here, right next to the steamer. Woo! Caldo, caldo. How do you say hot? How do you say hot, hot? Manas? Anas, anas. This is anak, but this is anas. Wow. Too much, too much. It's hot. <laughs> All right. Makasi, makasi. Makasi. I think it's just like it's overkill. Makasih. Sama-sama. Terima kasih. Jangan kapok. Kembali lagi. Thank you. Hi. They didn't even know we were coming. They know. I communicate via WhatsApp. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say because if they just let us in and do that like that. Yeah. What's this guy selling? I don't know. What is he selling? I don't know. You want to try? We're ready for. Adabis tuh. Adio. Salam. Pagi, pagi. Pagi, pagi, pagi. Very fortunate here in this country. I'm in India. <laughs> yeah.
Wow, this looks like a, this looks like an ancient ruin, like in yeah. Sri Lanka. There, there are many ancient ruins, like the Hindu ruin in the Chirabon, and we got three palaces in the city. So different palaces, like Kraton Kasepuhan, Kraton Kanoman, and other one, uh, meaning three kings in Chirabon that time. And in the city square, they remodel or remake the city square with the architecture. Looks like a old uh, ruin of uh, Chirabon. Got it. Yeah. So this one is not the real. No, but it, no, but, looks yeah, but, like but it looks like Sigiriya. Sigiriya in Sri Lanka. Sigiriya in Sri Lanka. Yeah, it looks the same. Uh, Look at those flags, bro. Hey, man, the flag. You think we can get one of these flags somewhere? That, that I think would be like a dollar. <laughs> That's the small one. Made it here and it's Nasi Lengo, right here in a small alley. Where are we? What up, guys? Here we got a vegan dish. In front of us, we don't have a vegan dish. <laughs> <laughs> the nasi lenko is the rice dish of this area, Chirabot, and also the surrounding cities like Tegal, Pemalang, Pekalongan, basically the coastal area in west and north in uh, central Java. It's a very simple dish of fried tofu and tempeh, the soy soybean cake, and then some veggies like bean sprout. You got some cucumber. Chopped chives. I love it. And this one is the bad boy, the spicy peanut sambal peanut sauce. Spicy? Yeah. And so you put the local sweet soy sauce, ketchup manis. Just pour on top. Then drizzle over it. And you have to mix it. Yeah, don't hold back, bro. Until back. it's a uh, balanced sweetness, the ketchup manis, and the So we mix it all? Mix it all. It's a lot of rice. Yeah. Usually people in a long time ago, they just eat it as is, like this one. This is a vegan mm -hmm. dish. But along the time, they need more protein. So they started adding. They can buy more like beef or meat. So they pair it with sate kambing. Sate the kambing. Mutton, the mutton satay. So mud, it's a lamb. Yeah, local lamb with peanut sauce. You put it. And then you pair it. You can eat it with kruku, the fried. I'm ready. Look at that. Beautiful. What a mix. It's gonna be spicy peanut. Mm hmm. It's fantastic, man. Nice, spicy peanut. Very nutty. Mm hmm. Refreshing from the, all the veggies. Mm hmm. Light, good for breakfast. Very good. And the additional satay is actually very good. Yeah. Unreal. Mmm. Oh, spicy. It's a nutty spice. No? I'd say on a scale of 1 to 10, like a 6. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. Mm -hmm. Nice satay. 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 So, vegan dish, it evolved over time to add some protein, mm -hmm. lots of rice. Oh man, so much flavor in here. And you have a lot of small eateries like this one uh, around yeah. the city. Yeah. But this one's famous. It's my favorite in the city. So, how many times have you been to Charabune? Oh, I, was, I was here with my family, with my mom, since I like five years, six years old. Oh, wow. Because this is like the transit point if you, go, you want to go to another part of Java. Like you stop here halfway, half a meal, and then continue. Yeah. You offer land travel. To other part of Java to Sumarang, this is the like we stop by, and the meal, and then continue the trip. Yeah, so when we were building the itinerary, um, you know, I was like, man, that looks like a big drive from Bandung to Sama Sumarang. Sumarang. It looks like a big, big drive. I was like, maybe we should stop here, and he was like, yeah, we have to stop in the city. Yeah. Big food city, we're gonna eat lots of dishes today. 
What makes this dish the peanut? Whoa. Amazing. Every dish gets better and better. Creamy, nutty. Mm -hmm. I love his alley. You want to have this one? Have you seen? Have you seen this? And knock. <laughs> They're laughing at me. Each town in Jaffa, they have the very specific ketchup manis. So for each town along the west, central, Jogja, and also East Jaffa, they carry their own brand of ketchup manis, specialty of the local factory, small small factory. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, they pair it with the local cuisine. So some are actually very thick, some a little bit watery, some is in the... This. You want to make your food extra sweet, add this ketchup. And the next spot we're going to eat at is literally right next door, right there. We have some sweet crabs. Sweet crabs. Smashed banana and caramelized palm sugar. Mm. You know, I'm not a big rice guy. I try to limit my carbs. Mm -hmm. But in this country, rice is king mm -hmm. and it is delicious. In the form of breakfast, dessert, ice, everything. Wow, tofu. It's amazing. Lamb satay? It's llama. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Oh, not too spicy. Even for me. It's like one. Six out of ten, I would say. Yeah. Five out of ten. Wow. Not nutty. Crossing. It's called six, that's why uh, after this. Or maybe in Semarang, I give you uh, 10 out of 10 spiciness level. Give me 20 out of 10. Yeah, it's a promise. It's not a threat, it's a promise. Remember that you asked for it, David. Huh? Yeah. I like that it's light, like it's tiny. Yeah. And our next destination is right here. Ah, no, I scared her. With Papa. Wow. So it's that? Ashabon. Ashabon. It's a cake. Yeah. Oh, it's crap. Yeah. Let's say a crispy crap. Can we see her make it? Damn, dude. Too tall, too tall. Oh, wow, look at those. So it's eating like this? Okay. What's in this? Nice. It's a doughy crepe. Banana. 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 Oh my banana gosh. It's amazing. Look, beautiful. Banana crepe. Extremely doughy. Tiny bit of crispiness on the edges. Wow. Mm. Dude, I would have like four of these. It was so good. It almost tastes like a banana cake. Fantastic. Quetapal. <laughs> this is a cherbon crepe. Crispy on the edges, doughy inside, and look, banana. Just had one. This is amazing. Dude, if I add like a vanilla ice cream scoop on top, it'd be the best. Oh, amazing. Wow, sweet. Look at that. This is like the one thing everybody has to try here instead of one. Mm. Like, no. You're right. A scoop of, of vanilla ice cream. Wow. Yeah. And knock. And knock. Love it here, man. Love it. I'm like so happy. Yeah. No, this, this one's amazing. I'll have one, one more. One more? Yeah. Ah, with a boo. Yeah. Come here and try her crepe. I mean, I love this dish, the rice with tofu, but that that crepe, wow, banana crepe. Get some ice cream on top, bro. Makasi, makasi. Makasi. Makasi, you guys are the best. All right, makasi. My friend, I have present for you. I have present for you. Okay, okay, my name. Yes. Okay, like I'm like. It's like. holding my hand hard, bro. What's your name? You won't let go of my hand. What's your name? David. 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 I'm Mr. Son. Mr. Son. Yeah. I have a present for when you. When you come back, your boy. I come back. I come back. 
People here are too nice. I mean, disbelief how nice people are here. It's like, I've been around, you've been around. Have you ever seen people this nice? Never. It's like crazy. I've been. <laughs> nah, it's always the people make the journey even better. Next Don't stop will be Gado Gado. Oh yeah, finally, huh? Yeah, the Indonesian salad. This is Kirbon style. Dogado Ampera. So we're having Indonesian salad with peanut sauce. The best, bro. Right here? Let's go inside. Pagi, pagi. Chicas bonita. <laughs> You're funny, bro. Pagi, pagi. It's okay? It's okay, I see. Oh, wow. Look at the sauce. The peanut sauce right there. David, I think you have to order by yourself. Gado gado satu. Gado gado satu. Yes. Spicy or not? Mmm, spicy or not. <laughs> Pedas. Pedas. Pedas, let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. That's it, it's ready? Ready. It looks beautiful. Thank you. Okay. Love this. Local eatery, open air. Let's sit right here. Wow, this dish. I'm so excited. So what do we have in here? Rice cake, a uh, lot of veggies, and then two, two types of crackers, krupuk. Krupuk. That's Indonesian crackers. The first one is actually shrimp crackers. Remember, Cirebon is a shrimp mm -hmm. city, right? It's an abundance of shrimp crackers. They mix the shrimp cracker inside. And for the additional crunch, they add the Belinjo nut crackers, the Amping. Remember when we eat Soto Betawi? Amping. Amping from Belinjo nut. The bitter but crunchy pleasant. And David ordered it super pedas. I, I needed to, man. Yes. They are asking, do you want it super spicy? I'm going all in. All in. Gado, gado. Here we go. The spicy. Yeah, super spicy only for David. It's okay spicy, I think. Not Dude. super. It's drowning in peanut sauce. Mm -hmm. So nutty. Give me anything with peanut sauce or eat it. Oh, me too, man. Yeah. Whoa. Not so spicy. Yeah. Mm. Try the, the crunch. The bitter and pink crackers. Ah, scoop it with you. Like that, right? Yeah. Scoop it up. Yeah. Wow. Uh, usually I, I ask for extra plate of mping. Yeah. Get together. That's the best part. It's excellent. Yeah. Excellent. So fresh. Love the stuff the stuff. Rice cake. Oh my gosh. Let me ask you a question. So is this the best one in town? I'm guessing. One of the best one in town out of the best one and each town in Indonesia they have their own version of gado gado so basically gado gado the origin is actually Jakarta mm -hmm. gado gado means the mix of everything veggies and stuff and then you have uh, Bandung version Cirebon version Jogja version Padang version all over Indonesia they have their own version of gado gado Surabaya version but always with peanut sauce but the peanut sauce in uh, depends on each region they are slightly different some are sweeter some are spicier some using noodle mm -hmm. yellow noodle some using salads and tomatoes you also have some greens in here mm, greens is a must so gado gado uh, greens and Look peanut up. sauce type of rice cake and then the additional like krupuk the crunch and it's, uh, it's a lunch so thing amazing. it's a lunch thing yeah so it's mainly for lunch salads yeah it's mainly for lunch 
Wow, you, I'm you blown away. Even in the morning or evening, you you cannot even find a gado gado cellar open. Oh, so, <laughs> so it's op uh, except the big hotels, but some uh, local place like this always warnas maybe from 10 to 2 refreshing because to beat the heat it's so hot here in Cirebon mm -hmm. a lot of veggies cucumber steam green steam uh, and it's not, sprout it's not too spicy not too spicy not too spicy yeah. and what I love is how much peanut dressing they put on top and the stickiness extra uh, nice it's very sticky because they only use the peanuts no feelings like just a little water usually tamarind water natural natural Oh, I love this dish. Mm -hmm. It is the best thing on earth. Gado gado. Remember gado, that name. Gado gado. Gado gado. Indonesia. Indonesia. Gado gado. Makasih, makasih. Makasih. All right, guys, that was our morning here in Celebon. You feel good? It's the heat is a little bit different with Bandung. So let's have some icy drinks. Yeah, okay? we'll go for some drinks. I'll see you guys later. Peace. All right, let's continue. Let's go. Let's get it. Four tassels. Why not? It's a quick tip and then rest. What do you think? Let's go. All right, let's jump in this pool. Oh. oh, man. Oh, guys, this is great. Pool's amazing, nice and warm. Sarabon is a hot place. That's what we needed, right? This one? Good. Living that influencer life. Yeah. Right. Not. <laughs> yeah, right. It's, like it's a great time. place, though. No, it's beautiful, man. Oh, it's deep. Yeah, I don't want this to fall. I'm gonna put it down for a bit, but enjoy this. Dude, what a great experience here. Still about two more hours before our guests here. Then we'll go out for some street food. But for now, we're gonna enjoy this. Ta bueno, ta bueno. So yeah guys, we had a little bit of a setback today with the lens situation, but it's all good. We solved it $2,000 later, we solved it, you know, it's the price I pay for traveling with such expensive gear, but it's all good, it's all good. So we're getting the lens, we made the best of it, this doc's gonna do numbers, let's get this doc to a million so I can pay myself back for that damn lens. All right? We need a million views on this video. Like and subscribe! Please, please, let's go for a swim. Let me not lose the camera now. No, 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 no. Woo! Oh, the lens? Got like a the word. Don't need it. Don't need it, bro. Uh, good? What's up? Yes. How's the new lens? Perfect. <laughs> Let's go. Hatur <laughs> nohon. Sami sami. Thank God this trip is saved. So Thank the, God, bro. The, the wow. story, eh? Hey, to know, to know. Hey, thank you, thank you. We, we, we owe him like uh, Bandung Cirebon, Bandung Cirebon. <laughs> We're going for Nasi Jamblang dinner. Jamblang is an area in the outskirts of Cirebon city where this dish is originated. Uh, the dish is rice wrapped in thick wood leaf, available widely uh, around Cirebon in the, in the wood. So this uh, special leaf is uh, known as a natural preservative. That time the seller, they go from one village to village, uh, put the, all the dish in the basket and they, uh, because it's natural preservative, they can sell it for the whole day. And side dishes array from seafood, skip, like Isle of the Black Ink, squid, the skipjack mackerel with chili, tofu, the potato patties and everything. Let's go, nasi jamblang. 
Good evening from Jerabunje, Indonesia, West Java. Today I'm doing something extremely special. I'm having nasi jamblang. This originated in the outskirts of Jerabunje. It's uh, rice that's been wrapped in teak wood leaf, but then it comes with like a million sides. Look right here. Let's just sit down. Come, come, join me. My man. Hello. This looks amazing. I'm so, so happy. This is uh, one of the dinner very, <laughs> that highly anticipated by me. Nasi Jam Lam from Chirabon. There's so many side dishes you get. You have the flavor of the sea from the squid or balakutak. Balakutak mm -hmm. is the local name. Yeah. Cook in on egg. I love also the skipjack. Uh, skipjack mackerel with chili of that. Mm -hmm. Try this. Potatoes. Try right now. Better than Idaho potatoes. <laughs> Way better. Way better. It's the marinade put on top. So the it's a little sweet. The, start, the uh, standard operating procedure is we ask how many packets of rice do we like. Mm -hmm. Like two or three. And uh, yeah, the seller will uh, open the rice packet like this. Like dua pa, tiga pa. And how many packets of chili do you, do you like? This is packets of chili. It's chili. Chili. Sambal. In there. Sambal in there. So Never nice. seen it. So you ask like tiga nasi, three rices, tiga sambal. Three rice and three sambal and just wine or the sad dishes that you like. Incredible. Let's do it. I have never seen an assortment like this. How do we start? Oh, you should, you should try this. Salted fish. Salted fish? <laughs> and plus we have some local music outside. Yeah, always. How many packets of rice do you like? Two? No, one for me. No, just one. Two? Okay. Ikan asin jamba. It's not, not enough. Not enough. Not enough. With rice, it will be enough. It's way too salty for me. Nasinya dua. This is so amazing. Nasi dua. Nasi dua. Sambal. Sambal. Berapa? 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 How many? Tiga. Tiga. Nasi dua, sambal tiga. No, nasi tiga. Tiga nasi. Sambal tiga. May I have the honor of picking set dishes for you, Finn? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will get you. Pa, ito pa. Tongkol. Tongkol. Yeah, tongkol. Spicy uh, skipjack mackerel. Spicy mackerel? Yeah, skipjack mackerel. We call it ikan tongkol. Tamilnya. Balakutak. A type of squid cooked in on egg. Balakutak. 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 Of the sea right there. And some clam satay. Satay crap. Clam satay? Satay. 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 So it's suitable for your first nasi jamblang experience. Oh my gosh. Flavors of the sea, rice, sambal, tofu, nasi jamblang, cirebon. Okay, I'll have this too. Uh, Ini satu? Itu satu? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Tempe, enak. And this. Yeah, and maybe no no some more some more I will have more. What else do you want? Tempe? Potato. Yeah, maybe Tempe this. Potato. Tempe, yeah. Tempe, 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 Satu, 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 satu. 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 Sat
wajah 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 ya wow ada tuh blog a bit more a bit more satu lagi satu lagi satu lagi satu lagi wajah satu lagi perfect wow my man this is the best the clams sate kram is the best First time having it. And the squid king. It's like a little sweet, salty, more like muscle. Mm -hmm. So what's the difference? They have the words that uh, not Japanese, but not also not Sundanese. So it's Cirebon specific mix. Between Java, Sunda. We have three languages. Yeah. Do you like those ones? I love it. We love it. We love it. Bye. 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 I am beyond excited tonight, man. This is something so special. I've never seen an assortment like this. It smells so good. Flavors of the sea. Flavors of the sea. Cirebon, the city of tiny shrimp. Tiny shrimp. So just dive in. Dive in. So you got rice, you got a bunch of sambal. Try the skipjack tuna. The tuna, the spiked sk uh, skipjack mackerel. Where is that one here? Yeah. Yeah, that's one. Yeah. Break it up. Mix it with Big some chunks, sambal. Like, yeah. Salty, but also they got sweetness, a spice. Wow, dude, it's, it's amazing. This is my type of dinner. Mix everything. Squid cooking on egg, balakutak. So my favorite. That black one. Balakutak. Balakutak. Can taste the intense egg. It's really intense. It's like potent egg. Mm -hmm. The spice is not that bad. I love the flavor in the rice. And the squid is not available every day. No. If there's strong wind, the fishermen, they cannot go out of the sea. Mm -hmm. There's no balakutak. So we are lucky. But today they are balakutak. And when did this um, tradition start? How many years ago? Pak, masih jam lang ni kira-kira tahun berapa mulai? Tahun in the 70s? 70s, yeah. And he's been here for how long? His uh, father-in-law started the business. Okay. 70. Your father started the business. Mm. 45 years old. So, Ibu Fitri. His wife's family. His wife's family started the business. And Pak Saiful helped with the business. So, they've been in the business for at least 40, 45 years. Are there many eateries like this, or this is the only one? No, there's like 40, 50 spots in town. Like this? Like this, and the opening time is very... Uh, some, they open for breakfast, crowd. Some open for lunch, and this one is from 6 p.m. to 4 a.m. in the morning. 4 a.m. in the morning? Yeah, this is like the supper host club crowd. Wow. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. 5.30 open in the afternoon no, no. until 3 in the morning. So 10 hours straight. That's blue jam, yeah? Yeah. And then after they finish, they go to the market to prepare for the next shift. Whoa. They're not going, they're not going back home. Straight visit all day. Oh, this is a bus driver before. Okay. And then after that, to the central Java. And then after he finish driving, he helps uh, his uh, wife, his family. family. Yeah. Incredible. <laughs> and is he from here or is he? Yeah, he's from Papua New Guinea. Cirebon. So what's his favorite? What do you like to eat? I like sambal. Oh yeah, not the pedas yeah. Yeah, paling ya kentang. Oh, kentang. The non spicy items. Yeah, super style in Papua New Guinea. The mom needs sambal. We need sambal. Gua sambal. Sambal. Dua lagi pak sambalnya. Sambal is inside banana leaf. I love it. The rice it's, is inside a thick wood leaf. It's completely different from anything we've seen. Usually they give it to you on a plate. Little plate. He's gonna throw two on man. Yeah. One. So, extra spice. See. Mm -hmm. Mix like that. Yeah, but this. Wow, the rice is so flavorful. They try the clam satay. 
The clam saute? Yeah. This clam. Set. Yeah. <laughs> My gosh, so succulent. Not bad. That's delicious. It's a must. Clam saute. You got potato patties, the sweet potato, caramelized potato. This is the first time I had a clam saute. Mm -hmm. First time ever. I love the seafood aspect here. Yeah. I mean, of course, we're on the coast, but we really haven't experienced true seafood. Like, so Jakarta, we have a little bit, but not here. This one is uh, mainly seafood. Of course, they have chicken and then, like, ox tongue. I'm sorry, up lungs and stuff. But the strongest, strongest uh, flavor is that their seafood fat dishes. That salted fish. <laughs> that was too salty. Too salty for me. But and this one? Usually people like, eat it and not in one bite. It's no, yeah, they mix bite. it That's too. <laughs> and what's that one? Is that like a big liver? Liver. Big liver. Hati. Sama. Split. Split. Beef split. Split. And they have beef. Usually that's finish. Yeah. Finish. I might try it. You know what? I'll take a piece. Tiny piece. Limpa, limpa. I love his whole demeanor, man. His whole look is beautiful. Kwa, the broth is very good. The broth too? Yeah. Kwa, man. Kwa, kwa. 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 What language kwa is speaking? Broth? They're speaking Javanese? No, Indonesian. Indonesian, but with the, with the dialect. With the dialect. And what is this, by the way? There's a squid. Mmm. Well, there is a hard case. Oh, no, it's a clam. You cannot Shell. eat the hard part, but the rest you can finish. Oh my god, the squid ink. Yeah. The ink. Tinta, sepia, dinero. Tinta. Con tirbon. They say it brings you good luck. So many saw it to me. I'm loving this experience. Outside we have the music. Here we have the gentleman. It's pretty empty now. Earlier when we got here, it was packed. And how much is this dinner, by the way? Like, how much is each thing? Approximately one to two dollars, depending on uh, the how, how many, many different items. Different sandwiches you yeah. need. Normally, yes, a couple of dollars. A couple of dollars? Yeah, with everything. And guys, as you travel this country, remember this: satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima, enam, tu, 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 sembilan, no, no, telapan, sembilan, sepuluh, then. Eh. Go ahead. Ah, sabalas. And then dua. La, blas. And then tiga. Tiga blas. Yeah. So everything in the teens is blas. Blas. Blas makes some more food, Have man. Have a blas. Have, Have a, a blas. Blast. You spleen? Yeah, simple. Yeah, it's like a, like a delicious liver. Mm, not too rubbery. Wow. So. So hearty, it's like iron. <laughs> oh, that's filling. I'm so happy. Yeah, happy back. So ask him, after how so many years, what's his motivation to wake up and go to work every day? Yeah. Semangat apa yang bikin Bapak tiap hari? Mengerjakan ini walaupun harus bangun pagi, kerja panjang, itu apa kira-kira? Motivasi. Huh? Uh, supporting the wives and family. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's why we do what we do, right? I'm here supporting my kids. Everybody here is working hard for their families. It's very beautiful to see this. I think I had two of the oyster satay, one spleen, one of those, one of those. That's hard. That's not easy. Uh, satu nasi? No, no, no. No? Not satu. Yeah. Me, I had three? Yeah. Oh, three of those? Yeah. Okay, so tiga nasi. Uh, samba, tiga samba. Satu. Satu. Uh, dua. Uh, tiga. Two, me, two, me. Satu. Mm. Satu. Satu. Ikan asin, salty fish. Satu. Ikan asin, satu. Udah? That was good. This is so good. I would even go for an empat, but maybe not. It's, it's amazing how it's not on the system here. You see the 
Tokol satu, sambal satu. Tuhun gitu. Ya, terus tuhun. Salam buat ibu. Ya. Terima kasih pak. Amen. So good. Enak. Magnus. 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 Alright, so we're gonna go somewhere else. Hey. So remember, if you're gonna film these guys that are actually outside performing, definitely tip them. Because if not, it's really unfair. Next spot. Where are we going next? Huh? We're going to Mikochok place. It's a local noodle with very thick coconut milk based sauce. Ooh. Mikochok, chill about. This is like the most epic dinner of all time. <laughs> Go. This country is the best, bro. Let's do it. I'm coming in hot, hot, hot. Coming in. Salam Ambo. That means good evening. How are you? You're amazing. So beautiful. So Ari, how does this work? Because the noodles, she like covers it, she puts it in the steams it. Yeah, me kotlok. Kotlok is the, the way you shake the noodle and the cabbage. So oh. Like raw cabbage and salmon noodle. And, uh, and that's coconut gravy. Coconut gravy. Sliver of chicken, Ooh. some sauce, egg, and of course sambal. A chicken on top. Chicken on top, egg, sliced egg, and you can enjoy it with sambal, of course. What about the bawang goreng? Crispy shell. Crispy shallots as well. Pepper. Wow, every dish looks so beautiful here. Mm -hmm. I love the way they do it. Sambal. And is it, is it takeaway yeah. like and that? Sambal. Wow. Spicy. Pedas, pedas. Put the put the spanga. This is the takeaway. How they uh, wrap it like that? More oh, with extra sambal. Extra sambal. And what is the, what is the cost of this? Twenty thousand. Uh, One thirty. So dollar thirty for this dish. Yeah. And how long have you been here? Two thousand. Huh? Bo. Yeah. Bapak saya. Oh, seventy years. Her parents yeah. started this, and they've been here for seventy good, years. Yeah, good, yeah. No way, yeah, that's they've been amazing. Here for 70 years. So Starting. she was a little kid walking around here mm -hmm. and then now she's here. Yeah. What a story. Wow. How are you? Very good. I love this place. Yeah, so Dua? Kembar, yeah. Are you eating? Hi, Kembar. Oh, I thought you had twins. Yeah, you look, look similar. similar. Yeah. So cute. That's sweet, that's sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, take care. Okay. Go, go, go. Oh, this is gonna be great. Smells so good, my friends. Yeah. The coconut milk on top. Sometimes we sit in the mat like this. Yeah. In Indonesia, usually in Java. Just enjoy ourselves. First time I see it like this. I've eaten like this in the Middle East a bunch, but never on the street. I'm ready. It really blows me away when I hear stories like this. 70 years. 70 years. 70 years. Since, uh, the, the second generation. It's amazing. So you can, we got... You can uh, smell the pepper, mm -hmm. coconut milk. I'm going to try some of the coconut milk. What's the bread? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. I like the bread. It's like a porridge coconut. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Very light. Yeah. Light broth. Cool. So egg, shredded chicken, got some sambal inside. Okay, it's spicy. I love the coconut aspect here. It's very warming for this time of day or night, right? Mm-hmm. You need something to warm your night. Whoa, spicy. Spicy and from the broth also. You know, I almost never see I almost never see the coconut gravies. This is the first dish we have with this. Yeah, usually it's like uh, in a soup, right? It's very thin. Yeah. Soup or curry. But this is, I think this, this is the first time during our trip in form of gravy. And the noodles, she doesn't give you a huge portion, just enough. It's a very like delicate dish. Oh yeah, this actually reminds me of like one of these creamy ramen dishes. Mm -hmm. 
la chirabona carbonara. Exactamente. <laughs> chirabona carbonara. You know, people get mad at me sometimes for like, comparing dishes yeah. to other cultures. <laughs> I don't care. No, but, but it's true. Like, yeah. And plus, Italy, the noodle aspect with the Asian noodles, mm -hmm. very similar. Yeah. We are having a great night, huh? Yeah. Chiribonje. is unique, it's amazing. Most people just pass by. They don't even stop here. Yeah. Only three hours from Jakarta, people passing by on the way to Central Java, at the part of Java. Most people they pass by and stop for a meal or buy some souvenir, food souvenir, ole ole, and they continue the trip. And they continue. Yeah. Yeah, because most people that come to Indonesia, especially foreigners, go to Bali. That's like the number one destination. We're exploring Java. We're in West Java. So many different cities, hundreds of towns and villages. Yep. There's an end. And everywhere we go, culture changes. Again, so many different languages, ethnicities. The food changes. The food changes yeah. completely. Yeah. The coastal, inland, hills, riverside, each with its own uniqueness. <coughs> Oh my god, okay, that's a day. sambal. Look, if finish all the sambal, even me, I don't finish it all. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I need this right now. I'm dying. And this is te botol, which is tea in a bottle. Indonesian national tea in a bottle. I don't drink sodas, but when I do, there's tea in it. <laughs> Sorry, bad joke. What a meal. What a night. We made it. How much is it for this dish? Less than four bucks. With drinks. Wow. I'm saying I'm moving out here. Everything is perfect. It's like four or five years of travel. I've never experienced like this level of kindness, culture, food. What else? Everything's perfect. Oh, my brother from Mother Mother. Hey, bro, where's my hug? Where's my hug? Makasih, makasih, makasih. Makasih. Too kind, too kind. Take care, guys. Meatballs. One more dish. More noodles. This is stir-fried. Oh, wow. So, here we have me, Pietro, Lemah Wung Puk. They have vermicelli. And then me noodle, and the, the way of cooking is the stir fry, dry stir fry, wet stir fry, and soup. Wow! And they got some cabbage. Got the noodles there. Got Ada some spice as well. Britain. How long have they been here? How long? Udah berapa tahun katanya mbak? Dari tujuh puluh delapan tahun seribu sembilan ratus tujuh delapan. Nineteen seventy eight. They start. Wow! Orang tua ya. Family business. Baran. Warisan. Warisan is like a heritage from the parents. Yeah, you can run saja. Sampai jam 11? 12. 12. Until midnight. From? Dari jam? 6 p.m. until midnight. I can't believe it. They've this been here, their family, for over 40 years yes. doing the same dish. Doing the same dish from the beginning. So that's why you know these dishes are good because they've been in rotation mm -hmm. forever. And whoa, she just added the noodles. <laughs> This is a buffalo skin cracker. This is for the nyamak. Ini pedes? Nyamak. Pedes juga. Nyamak is a wet. Put sliver chicken, shredded chicken, and then the cow skin or buffalo skin. Buffalo skin, huh? That's nutty. Me goreng. That is the stir fry from Italy. Terima kasih. Ini ada tapakan. Oh, there's a plate under it? Yeah, okay. there's a mat. Thank you. Minyamak. Minyamak. Minyamak means uh, half wet, half dry. You can see there's a little broth. Here's moist. Yours is like a dry. I like the drier better. Yeah. And this the special topping is the buffalo skin crackers. This is it. I can't wait. Mine are dry. His are moist. 
You said wet. That's incorrect. Gotta say wet. Moist. Moist. <laughs> yeah, they still have some elaborate thing. Mm -hmm. And the other type is the one with the soup. Oh, my God. You taste the charcoal. The charcoal. Oh, yeah. Hey, spicy. It's incredible. We just had a different noodle dish, completely different flavors, so unique, but this is something different. The charcoal, I don't really make a difference, right? It's, it's unreal. I've never had charcoal tasting noodles. With the cracker. Okay. Italiano, yeah, these are thicker. Right. It's a fermented Yeah, but it's spicy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I personally like it. Yeah, this is sweeter. I like it drier. Whoa. Every single day the food gets better and better and better. Yeah. This night, we had three different spots. I popped in the second one. I kept going because the food was absolutely amazing right here. Smoky noodles. Wow, bro. Everything we ate hit the spot. Seems like the breakfast, lunch, the salad, and also the noodles. Gado, gado. We love the video. See you soon. Spicy. Ooh, pedas, pedas. Satu sendok lebih. Satu sendok ya tadi. Makasih. Oh, and knock and knock. Oh my god, incredible. Bro, I'm dripping. It's so hot. Some of the tastiest noodles of my life because of this right here. Charcoal. Charcoal. And that's a little, a little rim. Let's go. I'm done. The day's over. We'll see you tomorrow in the market. Let's go home. Bye, da da. Let's go, bro. Let's go sleep. Let's go. Tassos. We need a break. Most definitely. Oh, God. That was so good. Oh, let's go. Selamat pagi. What up, guys? We're here at the Santica, Santica Hotel in uh, Chirabune, Chirabunje, Chirabunje. Um, wow, yesterday was a rough one in terms of the camera having these issues with the lens, but let me see how we are good. Is it focusing? Yeah, it's focusing, thank God. And uh, yeah, I'm excited guys, because today uh, is the beginning of the end of this trip. Um, we got five full days to go. We're here today, just a short morning in Chirabunje, doing the market. Market every morning is bustling. It's gonna be awesome. I can't wait to go there. We've got food, we've got vendors, super friendly people. It's gonna be a beautiful experience. Then after that, we're gonna make our way all the way to. Look, let me see. How far is it? It's a three hour drive all the way to this other city called Selam. Why is it not working? Seramang. Seramang. Semarang, Semarang, Semarang. And then from Seramang, we're gonna get there tonight. Uh, so we're stopping a few times along the way. We're gonna get to tonight, tomorrow, full day there. That's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, split between Solo and Yog, Yog, Yogyakarta. Yogyakarta. Yogya. Uh, it's hard to say it, but um, it's gonna be awesome. And uh, yeah, this is amazing. It's 6.45 in the morning. I've been jet lagged the whole trip. I, this is this is the issue with doing the way I do it, um, which is like travel halfway across the world for only two weeks, you know. Um, but it's all good. I make the best of it every time. I'm 30 years old, and uh, I can still do it without it destroying me uh, long term. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so 6:45 in the morning, we have a long day ahead of us, and I just wanted to quickly tell you some stuff you need to learn because you know I'm very. I'm getting really, really deep in the language. I'm perfecting my Italian. I'm learning Portuguese. And I learned, you know, as much as I could before this trip with everything that's crazy that's going on between me, you know, hiring new staff. You know, I just started the David's Been Here Hot Sauce uh, a few months ago. And now I have Courtney, head of sales, uh, pushing the sauce, getting into restaurants. And uh, just really didn't have time to study, um, you know, between everything we're doing at the company, nine person company now amazing we're growing I'm trying to get to 15 by the end of the year trying to get a full-time editor full-time cameraman um, and then a few other pieces uh, to make the company really really flow and grow this ambition that I have to be the the number one uh, cultural 
traveler, you know, entrepreneur or travelpreneur, right? Um, and, you know, I'm just going to tell you a few key uh, phrases that you should know when you come to Indonesia. And this language, the great thing about this language is that you can read it. If you read English, if you read Spanish, you can read this language because it's the script is the same, sounds the same. Um, so like makasi, makasi is thank you. And then you say sami sami. And then it changes with the other languages. Remember, 700 languages here, uh, official languages in Indonesia, 1,300 different ethnicities. Um, so, kopi. So, this is kopi pana, hot coffee. And then you have es kopi, which is cold coffee. Es is cold, uh, pana is hot. Uh, what else? Saya sinta kamu, I love you. Saya sinta kamu, saya sinta kamu. Uh, what else do we got? Saya mau, saya mau. So, I uh, want. Uh, to eat ma makan enak di Indonesia. Saya mau makan enak di Indonesia. That's like, I want to eat Indonesian food. You know, makan is eat, uh, enak is good. So, a lot of good things here. There's so many more words. I can go on and on. I got an entire book my boy Ari was teaching me before the trip. Uh, I studied when I could, but I was really just diving deeper into Portuguese and Italian because that's like my true passion is uh, Latin languages. Um, and I just, you know, between everything that's going on, my kids, the job, uh, and everything, it's it's really hard sometimes to to study things that are just like for fun, right? But um, man, yeah, guys, I'm excited. Um, it's a beautiful day here at the resort, not resort, hotel. I don't call it a resort. Resorts are more like a beach place. This is uh, in the middle of the city. Beautiful pool. Got in yesterday. They have amazing breakfast. If you're eating breakfast, definitely eat this breakfast. Like you walk in there and it's like peanut. Amazing peanut everywhere. Got um, sambal, which is like spicy. I got my sambal though, so I don't need their sambal because I got David's been here sambal. And yeah, guys, uh, the day's about to start. I'm excited. We're going to meet with Ari Tassels and our driver soon, and we're going to the market. All right, let, me, let me enjoy this coffee. David's been here documentaries, the game changer. And this is a one through ten in Indonesian. Satu, dua, tiga, empat, lima, enam, tuju, telapan, sembilan, sepulu. Yes. Hola, market? buenos dias. We're going to the market. We call it Kanom, Kirbon Kanoman Market to get some snacks like spicy tofu and all the fruits. Kirbon is a city of mangoes. Let's go. Eleven, well, all good. Second day, is it second day in Sirebon? Uh, it's crazy because like I see that there's so much traffic. Yet it's a small city for like Indonesian standards, like 300 million people. <laughs> but it's like so <laughs> busy, like <laughs> not even 8 a.m. I'm like, why is it so busy? You know, city, but excited. The traffic is only two time in the in early morning and in the afternoon. Yeah, that's it. In big cities like Jakarta, all day, <laughs> and then getting worse in the afternoon, right? So the president of Indonesia is actually here today and that's why we see all these people with the flags. They're going to wave him to him when he's passing by. What's your pass for the president? Don't have it. Don't have it yet. I'm not that VIP. <laughs> I'm not Atta. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. What is Atta? What is Atta, Ari? Atta is in Jakarta. Jakarta? <laughs> Atta in Jakarta. Let's roll. We're starting off this morning in Cherabunje at this neighborhood called Kesambi Baru. We're gonna start off with some rice cakes. From here, we're going to the market. Join me. Let's eat. Pagi. 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 <laughs> You're amazing. Breakfast. Hello. Breakfast. Breakfast. Yes. Yeah. Enak? Enak. Wow. <laughs> this is Surabi Cherbon. Yes. So it's like a small 
pancakes with toppings. Some of them have eggs, this one has beef, that one has something else, looks like some chives, some chilies. So they have small pots. She puts the batter, then she adds the topping. Woo! Too much smoke. She uses these little pieces. Is this tick? What is this? This is from the old crates. This is from the old crates? Crates, yeah. Oh, this is like from old benches. Yes. Like so they're repurposing the wood? Yeah, repurposing the wood. Nice, so it's going to be a little smoky. Woof! So the topping, they got spicy tempeh. And they have dage, a type of fermented uh, soybean, and also the taucho ketchup. Like the black beans, they make uh, ketchup manis with. Yeah. They put a lot of chili. So three uh, spicy filling, and then you can mix it with egg. And they get also plain and also sweet from the palm sugar. So we order the one with the lot, with everything on it. Perfect. And the sweet one also with the sugar, palm sugar. I love it. And so that's rice. Batter. Rice batter, slightly fermented with coconut milk. Oh, even better. The batter in the finished produce, mm -hmm. you can feel the slightly fermented uh, taste in it. Yeah. Uh, I love this experience, but I gotta tell you, I can't be here too long because I'm getting full of smoke and I can't see. And these are also some other like shrimp fritters. This is the fritters. You got tempeh, soybean, and also bawang, just veggie. So they, for the plain one, they eat it with fritters. Got it. Plain surabi with tempeh. That, so, uh, so add some savoryness some savory. to it. This is the quint quintessential Cherbon breakfast set right here. Incredible. Super nice and fluffy. Mm -hmm. So we had one of these in the other thing, Bandung. Yeah. Of course. Bandung style and Cherbon a little bit different. Different. Yeah. This one looks spicier. I see yeah. chilies in H1. Yeah, spicier. And I love her setting. I mean, she's right here on the side of the street. Very small. Woo! We got out of here, dude. I can't breathe. This has been here for almost 20 years. 20 years? Yeah, right here in the front of the building. Her, she's been here 20 years? The mother. The mother. Yeah, the mother is here usually. This is the... The daughter. The daughter's dage, yeah. That's dage? The, uh, spicy fermented soybeans with chili. Let me see. Be very hot. Yeah, it looks really, really hot. Yeah. The fermented soybean, but you also see chilies on top. And they're going to add down the side. Tempe goreng. Tempe right goreng. Here. And over here, they're making tempe goreng. So soybean... Fried. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Oh, this is nice. Nice crispy fritters. Okay. Let's see the batter. So there's chives. Bumbu yam. And this is made with shrimp. I'm super excited to try this. We're going to pair with the cakes. Makasi. She's like laughing at me. That's amazing. Adi, you ready? We're doing this? Sorabi, the sweet one with palm sugar, and this is the spicy fermented uh, soybean, mm -hmm. dage with tempeh fritters, and this is with a lot, with everything in it, like so three different fillings and an egg, so you can see the, the size is a little bit bigger mm -hmm. because of the egg. I love it. This one you want to try first. This I'm going to go with yeah, this one. The special. Their moms is so funny. I mean, their moms is very talkative, and sometimes she address us like, "Hello, sweetie, honey bunny," like that. Yeah. Yeah. Mother, yeah. Hey, sweetie, Amazing. honey bunny. Yeah. Apa lagi? Sweetie, honey bunny. I've been fasting for 12 hours. <laughs> Last night we had too many noodles. I'm going with this guy. Yeah, try the the big boy. One. The one with everything in the water, the works. Oh, nice, crispy and a little smoky. Look at the char. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Fluffy rice cake. Spicy cake. tempeh, fermented soybeans, dage. <laughs> uh, the black soybean with chili. Oh my gosh. Egg to make it fluffy. And the batter made from rice flour, little yeast. Coconut milk, slightly fermented. You can feel the fermented feeling. Mm -hmm. Pleasant fermented feeling. No, but the best part is the smokiness to it. Have you been? Uh, have you tried injera, right? You try injera, Ethiopian injera. Uh, no, I haven't. The bread. It's uh, almost a similar taste spectrum with injera. The bottom, nice and crispy. Then inside, fluffy. Then you have all the toppings on top. Spicy. So it's like three different ingredients in here. Three different ingredients plus the egg. This is the, the equivalent of an Indonesian egg sandwich. Yes. Rice style. Yes. Spicy egg sandwich. Spicy egg body. Oh. Oh, the chili bomb. Yeah. That's great. And try it with the freedoms. 
combine with fritters. So I combine it? Yeah. You mean like? Either bite like this or bite. So I bite and bite? Yeah. Bite it. And then bite. Mmm. Mmm. Friendly locals. Mm. <laughs> Those guys are like my brother now, bro. <laughs> mas, mas. Mas, mas. Another combination. Fluffy, savory. Yeah. Another here, crispy. Yeah. To team the spiciness of the bit. So you cleanse your palate. And then after this, you can try the, the one with palm sugar. Somebody told me these are the best here in Cherubon, like in the yeah. whole country. Yeah. For Cherubon style, this is best. Because Cherubon, we got uh, surabi, this type of hotcakes. We have a lot of style. Central Japanese, Bandung, Cherubon, the one, Jakarta. Jakarta is the one with palm sugar syrup. But for Cherubon style, this is the OG. And they've been here for 20 years already, in the same spot here, in front of this building. It's incredible. Just in the curb. That's what I love about this city in particular. Everywhere we go to eat, they've been there 20, 30, yeah. 40 years. 40 years. You're like, how does yeah. this actually happen, you know? <laughs> in the States, if you last one year, it's you're good. good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, nga? Yes. She asked. Rasanya okay? The taste is okay? Enak. 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 Can I have some chili? Chili? Dabe. 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 White people eating chili. White people eating chili? White people eating chili. One chili there. Yeah, they pack a tempe. Oh, this is the best pair, is the veggie fritters. Vegetarian. Vegetarian fritters. Oh, the veggie, so this is not veggie. Yeah. Uh, this is veggie, but tempe. Mm. But this one is uh, with a lot of vegetables. So, let's break this up. Same veggie. Chili? Yeah. That's small chili on top. It's a good yeah. pairing. Very oily. Mm, the spice level. Oh. And this is one to tame the spice. Palm sugar. Sarabi. So sweet. Yeah. So sweet. Local palm sugar. Looks like a fluffy, sugary bomb. <laughs> Srabi donut. Chirabon donut. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, this is my favorite. Oh my gosh. The pleasant palm sugar syrup. Oh man, it's insane. Very it's fluffy central. and it's like a little airy, crumbly. Yeah. Look at that. That's sweet right there. So they mix the palm sugar syrup into oh. the white batter, the coconut milk and uh, rice flour batter. Mm -hmm. And the char from the wood fire. Oh. I'll tell you, I don't know what this... I mean, it could be like a, a flan, but harder, denser. And the bottom, again, nice and smoky and crispy. It's like a sweet pupusa. Exactly! <laughs> El Salvador. Salvadorian pupusa, but sweet and cherubon taste. I Too sweet. The, the batter is uh, almost the same with pupusa. Oh, I love how charred it is. Mm -hmm. Right, the char is the key. Enak, my goose. She didn't even. Me, I feel Oh my god. I was gonna hold back, but the food's too good. Yeah, hold back. Okay. I can't. Okay, so just to wash hands, no? Yeah. This is how we wash our hands here. Hey, makasi. Thank you. Makasi. Hey. Sa sa saya. She said, I cannot sleep after tonight. I cannot sleep because meeting you guys. Eh, saya cinta kamu. Kamu. Ah, I said I love you. For us. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wrong car. <laughs> this market looks awesome, Ari. Awesome. Loving it. Tahu Gujarat. 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 And I saw the I saw the hats, like the rice paddy hats. Uh -huh. I'm gonna take one home. Okay. Maybe take three. One for each kid. And. Uh, oh, yeah. This is awesome. Food, street food everywhere. Man, I love this country. So this is Tahu So people don't go hungry here. Like no one goes hungry. Twenty four seven. No way. So before we enter the market, we're starting off with Tahu Gejrot. So it's tofu. Tahu Gejrot dua. Dua. Oh, that's a spicy peanut. Spicy ketchup mayonnaise soy sauce. So it's ketchup mayonnaise soy sauce, and you got the chilies and the tofu. Chilies, shallot, and 
this the specific tofu must be from the specific area of near Cirebon. So they got the factory, the mm -hmm. tahu factory is from must be from that area because they make it specific like that. Yeah. That's the tahu. And, and the taste is different because the water, depending where the water source is from. It's like spongy. Yeah, it's spongier. This one is different with tahu Bandung. Tahu Bandung is like a firm mm -hmm. one, and this one is spongy. So when they cut it, they absorb all the dressing, right? How long has it been here? Berapa tahun katanya Pak? 17. 17, 17 years. 17 years doing this. Yeah, so that's how they cut the tofu. It's very spongy tofu. So they absorb all the... Dressing. Yeah, it looks very different. The texture. The texture is very different. The chilies. Chilies, shallot. Only three ingredients for the dressing: crushed chili and shallot, and then the, the ketchup. Liquid, the sweet ketchup manis concoction. Mix it like that. This guy looks amazing, man. 17 years. Voila. And that's a dish. Yeah, that's a tahu we drop. Tahu eh? Tahu what? What tahu? Tahu. I can't even read it right. Gejrot. Tahu gejrot. Ge. Ge. Gejrot. Drought. That's when they smash it, it's the gujarat, gujarat, So they're smash. Yeah. Spicy though. I'm gonna try this alone. Mm. It's like a sweet plus a little chili. Tamarind. Can you mm -hmm. feel the tamarind? There's tamarind there, yeah. That's and the sweetness. With the crushed shallot and chili. So the spongy tofu, this is specific for making this kind of dish. Tahu from, uh, I think the the village called Chileduk. Like Chileduk, yeah? The Chileduk village, mm -hmm. just in the skirt, outskirt of Chirebon, where they produce all the tofu. Amazing. So all the tahu gujarat seller in Chirebon, they use tofu from Chileduk village. Dude, it is like a sponge. Like a sponge, so it's uh, absorb all the, the sauce, the dressing. Mm. Oh. <coughs> um, spicy. Yeah, spicy. <coughs> Very spicy. Nice and sweet, tangy. Wow. That's a bottle. Stringy for us. Mm. I love how it absorbs everything into it. Yeah. A whole different texture compared to the other ones. The other ones are like more fried, more dense. Firm. Firm. This one's spongy, light, airy, right? Mm hmm. Super airy. And what you do is you should like dip it in, like, like that. That's your remedy for spicy. That's your <laughs> remedy for spicy? Yeah. <coughs> it's it's <coughs> the problem is that he mixed like all the, the, <laughs> no, no, it, it is <coughs> it, all the <coughs> all the seeds throughout. Yeah. Oh, but it's fantastic, but different. It's like a sweet tofu spicy dish. <coughs> <coughs> you wanna get really brave? You go like this. Yeah. Sometimes I drink it like that. <laughs> Man, the sweetness, so good. Even though it's spicy, I think everybody should try it. When people <coughs> like buy it like as a food souvenir, to other parts, when they go to Jakarta, to other parts of Indonesia. Oh, they take it because they bag it. With the bag like that, that's the dressing to go. Look at that. Mm -hmm. So they could take it to go. It get to the go. bag, get the bag of tofu, tofu, and then mix it at home. And mix it at home. I can't have any more. I feel the spice. Yeah. It is intense. Very good. The chilies. Extra spicy. So just next door, we get uh, a rare dish, a cherubon dish called pepes. So they grill it from the fermented soybean blocks right there. They put some spices, chili, shallot, everything. And then usually they eat it with uh, warm rice, warm steamed rice. Ada apa pepes? All kind of pepes from seafood because we are right in the edge of the coastal Java coast, not coastal area. And so they wrap it in this leaf? Yeah. So we have sasho crab inside. Uh, this one is uh, from the fermented dage. Oh wow, it's like yeah. a paste. Like a paste, so you eat it with steamed rice. Yeah, you can eat it with krupuk like that. Krupuk? Krupuk. Okay, so we use this, the krupuk, yeah. which is made from... Uh, tapioca. Oh, it's just tapioca. tapioca. This is not shrimp one. Uh, this one is tapioca and sometimes uh, with uh, local fish. Got it. Yeah, the, the thin yellow one is from the shrimp. Amazing. You can see the lemon basil leaf. Lemon basil leaves. Yeah. Just put it right there. Oh, it's still super hot. Aromatic. 
You can taste the leaf. Yeah. Very good. This is crab. This is crab. Yeah. Wow, chunks of crab. You can see the, the flesh, the white flesh. Mm -hmm. See, you can see the crab, chili. Oh, it's amazing. Scallion. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a crab cake. Mm -hmm. Wow. Cherubon crab cake. What's amazing is that the smokiness mixed with the leaf. What a flavor. Can you guess what ingredient is this? Check the texture. It's caviar. Yeah. 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 Looks like tiny 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 grains of caviar. Well, yes. I mean it's, it's fish eggs, fish, fish roe. Cherubon fish eggs. Fish roe. Yeah. Pepes telur ikan, cherubon. Udang, Bu. Oh my gosh. Another delicious fish cake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tiny shrimp. The tiny shrimp throughout. Kalau yang itu yang kriuk kriuknya yang paling enak yang mana bu? Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is a tiny shrimp. I, I would eat like 20 of these. Oh yeah, me too. Straight up. Kepiting soka ya bu. These are the best things ever. Yeah. So Tomat easy to eat. Tomatoes. Not too salty. So smoky. Soft shell crab. Fried soft shell crab. My, what are you doing to me, bro? <laughs> Crab that they change the, the, the shell, mm -hmm. but when they change the shell, they replace it with a new one in the shell in the soft form. Got it. So before it's getting harder, you can uh, harvest and fry it like this. Easiest one to eat. Yes. Kapiting soka, soft shell crab. Mm. This is the best station of the trip. And what do we spend? Maybe like three dollars. Nah, I think two bucks. Two bucks? Yeah. So worth it. These are the best dishes of all time. I've never had this flavor and taste before in my life. The smokiness, the leaf, each one is unique. So many different flavors in there. Crab cake, fish cake, shrimp cake. Wow. Wow, Magnus. 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 <laughs> That's amazing. Pagi. So we're about to enter the market now, and right here we have a lot of durian vendors. So they're checking if they're good. You can see here they're open. So you can see it's smelly. It's like a stinky fruit. So good though. The way they check, they tap, and they smell, and the shape of the thorn. There's a three criteria or indicators uh, good durian. You tap it with a knife, and then the thorns and smell. So do people here in Indonesia love durian? 50-50. Like 50. I'm in my household, I like it. My wife hated it. I never have it in my home. My ex-wife hated it. I love it. This is amazing. It smells wild, but I love it. Let's keep going. Straight into the market. Ready, Ari? Let's go inside. Let's check the seafood. Seafood. Yeah. So here we're going to see less food to eat, more produce for sale. The one in the street, you can have the fruit, fresh fruit, and also ready to eat. Mango, like but crazy. inside, mostly fresh produce, but also some, they're selling snacks. Just around the corner, they, you will uh, find a snack corner. And how old is this market? I mean, it's... I think it's quite old. Ageless. Chirabon is an old city because it's located in the coastal mm -hmm. area. So many traders came from all parts of the world. From uh, Arab, India, wow. China. Oh, yeah. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go right here. We're gonna make a left straight into the market. They're selling some hats and I'll tell you, I might buy one of these and take it home, bro. Put this in my shop. David's been here shop. I'll put this right there. Oh wow, this is the market right here. Should I, get, should I see the hats? Look at right there, the hats. That's the chopping. They the chopping. Chopping, yeah. the rice hat. Chopping. Maybe the fresh strawberries. <laughs> oh wow. Look at that. It smells fantastic. This is really atap fresh. Seed, like what is that? Seed. That's atap a jelly seed. seed. Yeah, atap seed. So you drink it with ice or uh, make it some compote with cinnamon, with sugar. You got some fresh juice. We should probably fresh get a juice. 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 Uh, this is snake with fresh snake What is that? You want to try? Yeah, I've never seen that. This looks so different. It's like a snake. Look. Like a snake? It's literally the snake skin. What is this? You feel the skin? Is this yes. only Indo? Yeah, Southeast Asia. Salaka. It's a fresh inside. Yeah. And there's a seeds, big seeds. So Dude, this is crazy, bro. It feels like snake skin. Have you ever felt like a any snake 
This is the same thing. So you get all the way in? Yeah. yeah. So there's like four different pieces? Mm -hmm. And then you break it? Yeah. There's a seed inside. Mm. Mm. It's tough, crunchy. Yeah, yeah, very dense. Sweet, tangy, not too sweet. Yeah, inside we have the seed. Massive seed. You try mangosteen? Have you tried? I love mangosteen. Yeah. Super fruit. Mangos. Here, yeah, mangos. You want those seeds? So if you never had this, it is amazing. It's like a lychee with that little pockets. Yeah. No seed? Sweet. Manis, asam. Manis, sweet, and asam. Tangy. Tangy. Sour. Tangy, sour. Okay, and sweet. You have a little seed? Mmm. We have jelly. And then you have that right there. Right there. Long an. Oh, I love these two. This, that's lychee. No, this is long an. Long an. Bit different. Lychee is red, huh? This is the tropical long an. Almost like lychee, but. Almost like lychee. Whenever I go to a Chinese restaurant at the end, they'll give me this in a bowl. So what you do here, you just suck it. And you. Mm, no, there's a lot of lot of meat. But there's a pip. Yeah. Let's take this. Yeah. I'll keep it. I personally love the mango sting the most. Mango sting? Mango sting? That's the one you should try. Go <laughs> over here. Sami sami sami. And over here with dragon fruit. This is one of my favorites. Not too sweet, but it's full of water. Almost like a watermelon. So what is this? We talk a lot about pandan leaves. That's like the vanilla of Southeast Asia. It's actually a screw pine leaves. When you make a dessert or uh, dishes, you just take two like this, and most also they have uh, the tree in front of this. Like in my house, I have pandan leaf tree. So any anytime I want to make dessert or soup, just take a couple of leaves, just crush it, and put it in the liquid. And we got also breadfruit. Breadfruit. Steam it or uh, fry it. Right. Tell my Caribbean fan base, breadfruit for life. Breakfast is the best, man. It's like a carb. It's heavy, though. It's, it's heavy. It's heavy. We, uh, usually, we eat it as a snack. Yeah. Not like the part of the carbs, but just snack. We fry it and with a coffee or tea. The Pissar goes forever. Same thing, though. Fruits, fruits, seafood. But over here, we have some sweets. The kue kue. Kue kue. Uh, this one is my favorite. We call it, apa di sini bilang? Kue ku, or red tortoise cake. Angku kue. You can find this all over South, Southeast Asia. This is symbolize longevity, like the tortoise mm -hmm. and red, the color of uh, abund abundance for in a Chinese, so, uh, Indonesian Chinese uh, cake. So it's sticky rice? Sticky rice and uh, flour, rice flour, and inside is a uh, mung bean. Mung bean? Sweet mung bean. Let's try it. We call it I can't even get it out, it's that sticky. So <laughs> sticky. Yeah. Yes. That one, oh, you just get it, take it. That's a mang, sweet mung bean filling inside. And another mm. one must try. So sweet. Klepon. Klepon is Klepon. A, like sticky rice bowl with grated coconut. And inside is like the palm sugar bomb. So you have to close your mouth when you chew it because otherwise you will squirt all so over your... So it's a sugar bomb. Sugar bomb. Sugar explosion. Yes. Magnus. Enak, enak. Yeah. They, do they do they here every day? Setiap hari buka ya. Jam berapa? Five in the morning. Five until. Apa? Four in the afternoon. From five in the morning. To four in the afternoon. Yeah. So eleven hour shift and they make this all at home. Ini yang bikin macam-macam. They are suppliers. Beda beda ora. Beda beda suppliers. Beda, like beda. Many suppliers. Got it. So they buy it from the people who make it. Yeah. Makasih. Yeah, sama-sama. Nowhere home. I know. I know. I'm learning the language. Bahasa. Careful here. Guys, I think we should jump on one of these eventually here, but let's go buy a hat. Hi guys. Hey, bro. <laughs> Everybody's so awesome. Follow me through here. Apa kabar? Apa kabar? This? I want this, this, this. How much is it? Dollar twenty. Dollar twenty. Wow. Okay, I take um man for a dollar twenty. I'll take my kids. All right, I'll take four, man. I'll take four. Yeah, for a dollar twenty. That's a good deal. Look at that. It's beautiful. So this 
Traditionally, it was made for people that are working in the fields, the field, in the rice fields. So it's amazing, man. Amazing. Five, maybe? Five. Five? Take one more? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Upsell, upsell. Upsell. yeah, yeah. It's like, no, he didn't have change, so he's like, I'll just take it for a discount. Yeah, let me have my fan. I think it's worth it. Look how many different cool things they have. They have baskets, they have hats. Over here, they have small pots. Look, so this is like this could be an ashtray, but it also could be a place where you put a cup. So nice. This is the other pottery, local pottery. They have knives. Oh, and you threw in the, the fan. That's for you. Ding, 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 ding. Hey, makasi, yeah. makasi, you the makasi. Board from the, the, the trunk. This wow. Board. So you take it to the house and you can chop on top. It's very cool. Man, this market is nice. So many different things you could buy. If you wanted to, you could like literally get this one. I mean, it's way too big to transport to America, but I think this I can take easily in my bag. I brought an extra bag, by the way. I always bring an extra bag literally for souvenirs. There's no other way. Okay? This is only two bucks. Two bucks. That tree died for $2. That's solid. No, I'm joking. They, they, they chopped into many pieces. <laughs> so question, if I start a David's Been Here store in Miami and I bring stuff from all over the world, will you guys come to see it? I'm already thinking about doing it for my hot sauce and then adding all these different elements of my travels in there. Whoa, what is this? This is uh, local art. Dragon. Trebon dragon. So they have a lot of different fruits. Everywhere you look, there's fruit. You got grapes. Oh, which is this one? Tangerine. No, I know, I know. You peel it off. But well, I was just sucking sweet, it. Sweet, sweet. So good. It's super sweet. Super, super sweet. sweet. Mm. Oh, nice. Nice. It's delicious. Man, I can eat fruits all day here. Uh, speak Indonesia, lejat, lejat. Bahasa. Yeah. Umpo, umpo. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm talking Italian. Lejat. Oh. Oh my God. It's good on him. It's okay? Okay. Oh. Eh, enak, enak. Life to Indonesia, you actor in Indonesia. He's saying I'm an actor in Indonesia. Life to Indonesia, you actor in Indonesia. He's saying I'm an actor in Indonesia. But where's my wife? <laughs> Sorry, he's killing me, he's killing me here. Having fun with these guys. Small girl. Small girl. This, no. this is your wife, no? This is your wife? So how long have you been here? How yeah. long? How long? How many uh, years? 20 years. 20 years right here? Yes, yeah. And this is from your farm or you just buy? Yeah. From your farm? Here's a farm. Yeah. No. So it has lime? Buy it you buy it from somebody else. Got it, got it. Yeah. So everybody's buying from other people and then bringing it to the market. So this is wholesale. Some very small uh, vendors actually, this yeah. their own, they grow their own produce, but most they are uh, suppliers. Yeah, because they're buying in bulk. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Becha. Yeah. Becha. Becha. So it's a bike. A bike with a seat. Oh. Oh, that feels good. Oh my gosh. We're just going to the car, guys. Here, I'll take you for the journey. See you, Tassos. See you. Oh my gosh. Dude, it's amazing. Oh. Everybody's so funny. Hey, my biggest fan. <laughs> so we're on this little bike here in Sharabunje. It's amazing. It costs like 20 cents for like a 20 minute ride. Look at this. And we're exiting the market now. Oh. Apa kabar? Boom. He's smoking a cigarette. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay. Makasi. This is awesome, man. Guys, this is an experience going around here. But definitely put some sunblock on because it's so sunny and hot. Wow. We're good. We're good. No, well, he's, English. no English. No English. No, it's okay. It's okay. The car is here somewhere. Wow. That was nice. Especially when you're in the shade. I could just like fall asleep here. Manta sekali. Manta sekali. Top chair. So we got new friends here, yeah. Chief Petty Officer Agung and Chief Petty Officer Hachi from the Indonesian Navy. Based Amazing. In Thank you for your service. Makasi. Incredible. Well, that was our experience here in the market. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you soon on the next city. Let's go. All right, let's go, let's go. Next city.
my man. Boom, let's go. That's it, guys. We are done with Chalabunje. We're off to the next city, Sa Samarang. Samarang. But on the way, we're going to stop at like three or four different places. It's going to be an experience. It's not even 10 in the morning. We did all that quickly. I mean, I think two and a half hours. Not, not bad at all. All right, let's go, my man. Just one hour to the next one and a half hours to Tegal, another port city, but already in central Java. We are crossing from western Java to central Java. Awesome. In north coast. Of Java. Central Java, here we come. Sorry, the place is called Tigal. Tigal. And it's famous for their go satay. Go satay. And the rice store, yes, the, the one that we went, the one that we went in Jakarta, Warung Tegal, uh -huh. the rice store of Indonesia. Everywhere in Indonesia, you can, you may find Warung Tegal. Warung Tak. Warung Tak. Got satay and wartek, What's you know, that? wartek, the rice shop that we went in Jakarta. This is the origin of wartek. So they went to all cities in Indonesia and then opening the rice shop, the rice uh, shop, wartek shop. It's gonna be a delicious meal because the one we had in Jakarta was amazing. Have you not had a delicious meal in Indonesia yet? So uh, it's like they get better and better. Laka Laka. That's how you say the name of the city? No, it's Takal. Takal Laka Laka. Takal Laka Laka. pagi from Central Java, Indonesia. Today we're doing a road trip all the way to Samarang. And we're stopping in a few coastal cities to try their delicious cuisines. This is Javanese culture. I'm super pumped. We're starting off right here with Sate Mendo Wendy's. This is goat sate. Mishkak. My man, are you ready? Yeah. Sate coming from Tagalaka. Tagalaka. So that's the name of the city we're in Tagal, but it's Tagalaka Laka. Tagalaka Laka, that's the nickname. It's amazing, guys. Look, charcoal, got small pieces of goat, got chunks, fat, chunks. That's where the Ooh. flavor came, came from, the of course. fat. And then they just marinate a little bit in the sweet soy sauce, the tamanis, and grill it like that. And the sauce will be sweet soy sauce with chili and tomatoes. No. Peanut sauce, wortegal. Mm -hmm. Peanut wortegal uh, sate is with ketchup manis, sweet sweet sauce. And here, this is Javanese culture, so they speak Javanese, a different language. Yes. I'm ready. Matur nun. Matur nun. Thank you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> my head hurts. <laughs> You're Javanese? Yeah. Amazing. So you were born here in the city? Uh, no, in Samarang. Samarang. In Samarang. Here. Got it. So Samarang is the city we're going to. It's about another two and a half hour drive from here. Yeah. Fantastic. I'm hungry, I'm ready. Inside? Let's go. Oh, nice. It's awesome. That's the dipping sauce with chili? chili. I thought I was gonna get a break from chili. I'm not gonna get a break on this trip. No, you cannot do that. Look how beautiful this is. Oh, it's like a thicker sauce. Process over there, but look at the samba. What? What a monster. I'm actually nervous. There's gonna be a lot of heat. Let's keep going. Careful, careful your foot right there. Oh, yes. Look at this. Hello. This is where they're putting this all together. Yeah. Satay. Hello, Paggy. Oh, my Saudi gosh. You see how he cut? Mm -hmm. So he's cutting over there. Like this, and then the, the he, nice stays. So the nice stays like inside yeah. the table, and then he just cuts every piece. So you got fat, you have liver, you have kidney, you have chunks of meat. Never ending satay. Wow, I'm so excited. Goat and lamb, my favorites. Goat. I'll tell you, the satay smells absolutely phenomenal. It's that charcoal, that smokiness. Whoa. 
This is gonna be phenomenal. Probably the best satay I'm gonna have in my life. I say that everywhere I go, but it gets better and better here in Indo. So it's like their daily job, Niris, is to cut. Like the way I cut is full of filling. The way I put the, the meat at the skewer is with real feeling and the way I grill is full of love. Sate mendo weni tegal laka laka. All right, so we saw the process of how they make the sate and now we're gonna go eat it. I'm ready. The sambal looks spicy. Pedas? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Let's look right here. Look at this. Chili. It's chili. Woo. And then some sweet sauce. Some sweet ketchup. Ketchup manis, yeah. That's Ketchup. the local one, different one that we ate in uh, Kirabon. Oh wow, so it is different. Brand. Yeah, so it's really different brand. Look at this guys. This is, just being over it, my eyes are getting watery. Yeah. Too much. Yeah. Too much. So that's our spot. This looks amazing, guys. Look, satay. We have our tea. Got some juice. Got rice, always rice. And we have soto, which is soup. Uh, this is the soup and uh, some asam. Asam asam. Yeah. Asam asam means sour sour. Sat ati. Oh, that's liver? That's liver. And then the way they drink the tea is with the, the earthenware pot. Like this one. Look at this though. That's a block of sugar. Rock sugar, yeah. I have to remove this. In Iran, yeah. they give you tea and they give you a stick with that. Oh, yeah. And you enjoy yes. this. Like uh, crystallized. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm excited, man. This one looks the best. So, Wow, this looks amazing. So what type of soup is that? This is soup with the ribs and everything. And that's all goat? That's all goat. Because everything here is everything goat. Everything goat. Yeah, this one is, we call it asam asam. So this one just clear light soup. And this one spicy, sour. Because the, this is called sour sour. Sour sour. Asam asam. So they use carambola, the sour carambola. Carambola, so star, fi uh, star fruit. Yeah, sour star fruit. And chilies like this. Lots of spices. Looks so intense. This one sour and spicy. This is light and clear soup. And we have liver, meat of goat, and the dipping is with chili and ketchup manis. Perfect. Uh, so we start? Yeah. Like this? Yes. Nice and thick. And you're supposed to get some of the chili? And the... Oh, you did it like the that. The garnish level. So level, he like mix it. In Chirabon, they like it uh, medium. Medium? This is like the half done, medium. Got it. The satay so, in other part of Indonesia is like well done. Yeah, Here, so this is like medium. In Tagal, it's medium. Yeah. Now see, it's still pink, the fat. Mmm, sweet and spicy. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Flavor, ati. Ati? Ati is flavor. That's wow. ati. Yeah. Goat meat, chili is considered hot mm -hmm. food. In terms of uh, elements, so you have to cool it down with some. This is considered some. cold or cool food, like tomatoes, yeah, refreshing, and shallot, and shallot. So balance in the body. This concept that the Indian call Ayurveda mm -hmm. or Yin and Yang. Yeah, because you heat up your body now you cool it down. Here, this is Yin and Yang, Tagal style, meat and <laughs> Yang and Yang. Yin and Yang. And so let me ask you, the, the culture here, Javanese huh? people, they're known for the goat, the goat satay, and then also the wartaks. That's what the they're tagal. known. The tagal. The tagal. And also the tofu. And the tofu. Yeah, they have tofu called tahu pletok, meaning tofu with some tapioca and uh, chili, tapioca and spices. So this is very... Like a this, tofu fritter? Yeah, this is very authentic or distinguished of tagal. Dip it in the now. Ah. Yeah. New spice. Mm. Mm. Perfect snacks. Yeah, very different from the tofu we had this morning. Yeah. Bandung, different tofu. Cirebon, different tofu. Here, also different tofu. So for tofu, the main thing is the water, right? Like this. Spice it up. You have to add that level of sweetness into it. I love the sweetness in this sauce. Not too spicy. Get the seeds right here. Tegal, Pekalongan, Pemalam, Batang, the surrounding areas, even though they're on the coastal, they got some parts actually in the hill. 
and they are tea producing region of the country. So they drink a lot of tea like this, jasmine tea. And right here. we drink it like this one, in teh pochi with the earthenware pot. Sugar. <laughs> so it's off? Yeah. So the rock sugar. So they, we just leave it here. And then the rock sugar will melt. Yes. Rock sugar will melt little by little. You can see just melting. Give a little shake. And just. I think this, this will be the strongest, uh, most aromatic tea after a four days trip in Indonesia. This Try one? Yeah. yeah. It is strong. It has a lot of flavor. Flavor from the jasmine. Yeah, very. Uh, jasmine. So Lots they of fragrance. dry it with uh, the leaves of the tea and some jasmine flower. Leave it overnight to make the infusion of the aroma of jasmine into the tea leaves. So and they me... remove the jasmine the next day. They take the jasmine out and leave the aroma behind. Well, let me ask you: difference between. Javanese people from Central Java and where we just were in West, what's the difference, the main, biggest difference? The I guess biggest language, of course. Language is different and the way of life, ceremonies, uh, the daily life, the food, always big difference. Mm -hmm. Japanese uh, central part, like this one, a lot of sweet food. So everything's like sweet like this? Like this, because a lot of uh, sugar factory this time. Got it. In this area, uh, during the colonial time, they open up sugar factory around central Java, Amazing. because a lot of uh, sugarcane plantation in this area. West Japanese, they love their greens, I told you, mm -hmm. they, they, they love their fresh veggies, they love their sambal. Here we love sambal too, but the food, we did it with a little bit of sugar. In the east of Java, they love their food savory and spicy. Wow. So the, safe, the most savory and spicy food in Java is in the east. And so for the east, for the That's the party. next trip. That's another trip. Another trip. So here we just arrived in Central Java. It's only one of the city. This is the food from Tagal. So I'm gonna try this. That's the last sop thing. Sop kambing. Sop kambing. Sop soto. Sop no sop. Sop. S -O -P. <laughs> Soup. Sop. So clear. Very light. They use uh, the innards. They use the ribs of a goat. Oh, the broth. It's light. Yeah. It's crunchy. Love the meat. You have to get in here and pull out the pieces of the lamb. Sorry, the goat that don't have bones. Or just pull this out and just suck on it. Mmm. And you have to try this. Mmm. Another soupy. That's my bones. Dish from the goat. We call it asam asam. Asam asam. Sour sour. And we use sour carambola to make it tangy and a lot of chili. Look at this. Look at the chilies, guys. Look at the chili, yeah. But this one is a little bit sour. Let's see. Yeah. Romantic from the local bay leaf, chili. And bones. sour carambola. Blooming wolo. Lots of bones. The best thing to do is grab this. Yeah. It's like a small rib. Pull this out. Look at the fat here. Mm. Mm. Mm? Yeah. Oh, you devoured it. I actually like the soup more. This one over here, less spicy, easier. Central Javanese food, amazing. Let's enjoy. Wow, bro, I'm feeling the spice now. Yeah. Heavy spice. Thank you guys. Made it. This is an amazing meal. We haven't even touched the rice. No rice needed. Right? No rice needed. It's pure meat. Somebody told me this is the best goat in the world. Huh? Somebody told me this is the best goat in the world. Here? Yep. Uh, for me, the top 10. I still have a lot of places that in the, in the same league. Yeah. Hot, hot food. Jogja got a lot of good goat as well. Jogja, solo. Mm -hmm. They have breakfast with satay goat. Oh, breakfast, yeah? yeah? Breakfast with satay goat. 
They ate it with like breakfast. This morning in the market, that was some good tofu, but it was spicy. This is some of the best jasmine tea I've ever heard in my life. Do you agree? Yes, I concur. Jasmine tea of Tagal, laka laka. Good tea, huh? Shop coming? Enak. These people will make your experience like none other. All right, all right. Makasi, makasi. The best, the best, the best goat satay in the world. Ready? Tea? Let's go to buy some tea leaves for souvenir. Let's go. I'm a tea geek, you know it, so let's go. Take Can I have a sticker? Oh, yes, yes. Can I have a sticker? Yeah. So this is Wendy. Wendy. He's the son of the owner, and they named the restaurant after him. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> He's so nice. He's a neighbor. He's a neighbor. I wish I was next to Messi, dude. <laughs> okay, let's go. We're off on a search for the best tea leaves in all of Java. Jasmine tea leaves. Man, that was some of the best tea of my life. And Tassos is a tea geek and he can concur. Concur? Dude, what a great city. It's extra hot here. Extra hot. Say on. <laughs> So we're in a huge supermarket and we're looking for that jasmine tea. Jasmine, let's go. It's like souvenir. Salty. So which brand do you recommend? Because there's so many. This one is Tong Chi, it's my favorite. You have it in uh, forms of tea leaves, but also like... The bags. Tea bags, right? And they got the complete set with the pot. With the pot? With the pot. So Whoa. You can the pot and the leaves and brew it at home and wait. The uh, uh, rock sugar. Let's, let's get some. You Tom think we should cheese. take this? Yeah. How much is it? It's affordable. Either way, we're taking it. Three bucks. Let's go. This and raw teeth, raw leaves. Yes. Oh, like the that. Leaves, Even yeah, better. Small one. So yeah. one. Oh my gosh. One piece for one cup to brew one cup. Easy. Let's go. We have our tea with uh, some small gifts. And ready to go to the pastry shop, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is the country of smiles. Everybody's smiling. You pull up with the camera, they're like, yes! Dude, they're all like, You're yes! Here, huh? Yeah, they're happy. We're going to have uh, flaky pastries in Tagal. Kue, pia, nyonya, liao, and many fillings. They got durian, they Ooh. get shallot, Ooh. sweet shallot, cheese, nice. pineapple, a lot of fruits, dried fruits, and this will be the nice dessert to end our day in Tagal. Like I said before, this place loves their sugar, so sweet, lots of sweet dishes, and of course, everything's gonna be super decadent, right? Yeah. Right, 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 right. Tagalakalaka. <laughs> Tagalakalaka. <laughs> you are in the center of Tagal City, the place where is the, the location of the production of bread and also flaky pastries. Many families, they own small bakery at home and we are going to Madame Liao, one of the best. Madame Liao Pia. So we're in a small alley full of Pias. Hello. Apa kabar? I'm trying to think how do they say it in Javanese, but I have no idea. So this is the one? So many. We already passed four of them. Wow, cool. I love these little alleys, back streets. That's your favorite right here? Pia Buka. Pia Open. Pia Buka. So op open is Buka? Yeah, so it means the store is open. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. This is the name of the family, Madame Liao. And we are in the center of the girl, and they get like eight, ten different kind of filling yeah. durian, pineapple, sweet shallot. Uh, that's a rare, I'm uh, ready. rare filling for a pia. Uh, oh, it's a rare filling? Yeah. Well, I, I want to try whatever you think. I just don't want to overdo it because I know we have a lot of stops. Oh, wow. So this is the flavor. Susu. Yeah, susu, pina susu, like kopi susu, milk. Shallot, palm sugar, nanas, 
pineapple, mix fruit, chocolate, mandarin, chocolate, chocolate. But the special one is cheese and durian. Then we do those two. Follow our Instagram. Yeah, yeah. Follow them. Follow them. Follow them for better. Oh, they're here. They are. Yeah. Look, they're all here. P.S. Oh, so they're like they're like mini biscuits. Got it. Complete, maksudnya. Complete. Semua ada. Ah, yang ada. Ada semua sih? Satu-satu ya. Satu-satu semua. Mau bikin berapa kotak? Satu kotak. Satu kotak aja. Iya. Satu so, satu. Yeah, okay. yeah. satu satu. Satu 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 In sugar. So you're getting all of them? Okay. Yeah. Apalagi? Sudah? Sudah. Yeah. This is Tong Hiu Pia only Durian. annually because they have ceremonies in, I mean, like the day of the mooncake, Tong Hiu Pia. And they got cacao, like chocolate, copier is a type of uh, coconut. Apalagi? Pineapple, nanas, terus apa mbak? Makasih. Okay guys, we're ready to try this. Alright, which one should we try first? There's so many, I don't even know which Eddie, is which. You take one and you guess the feeling. What feeling is this? Looks like a banana. We'll try it. They don't have banana. I don't know. What do you think it is? I knew what it is. Mm. Think so? It's durian. What food is that? Black. Durian? Durian. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. Crumbly. Super flaky. Not too dense. Not too sweet. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's perfect. So this with tea. Mm -hmm. is, it, is that like Dutch or Portuguese influence? Chinese. Chinese influence. Try this one. Look how flaky that is. No idea. Try it. Mm. Mm. I know what is this. Mm? 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 Fromage. Uh, mm? Cheese. That's cheese? Yeah. Oh, you said yeah, fromage. Yeah. I was like, what are you saying? The fromage. I forget, he speaks like 18 languages, bro. <laughs> keju, keju. Keju. Yeah, this is cheese. Mm. Just Dutch cheese. No, I'm feeling it. Left some of... <laughs> but it's a, it's like a thicker, yeah. crumbly cheese. Yeah, a sweet cheese. Wow. I love that this cuts the heat from the spice. Oh, man. Amazing. Like this, this. Yeah. Ini. Yeah. Ini. Try this. Price. This is a rare feeling, but also one of my favorite. Can Ooh. you guess? Can I guess, dude? I can't guess like this. And I don't even. Uh, I can't read these names. It's not chocolate. No. So they have mung bean, chocolate, mixed fruit, pineapple, milk, shallot, palm sugar, keju, and durian. Cheese and durian. What do you think is this? I don't know. Palm sugar. No. It's a pungent smell. Mm hmm. Caramelized shallot. Bawang. Caramelized shallot. Mm -hmm. I mean, to be honest with you, they're all starting to blend. One of my favorite. Because everything is obviously a biscuit, mm -hmm. but the filling is different. I'll finish the durian. Mm -hmm. Durian is the best. Durian. Durian is the best. Durian is the best. Durian is only on special occasions. Boleh minta foto? Boleh minta foto? Boleh, it's like, may I or can I? She wants a photo? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Nanti ya, bentar ya. Bentar is a wait a minute. Oh, this is like, this is Chinese. See, this looks exactly like how they are in it's China. It's all Chinese. <laughs> this no, one no. is more Chinese, yeah. This is Tiong, uh, Tong Chu Pia. Tong Chu Pia? Tong Chu Pia meaning, Tong Chu Pia meaning uh, the moon cake. So this one is only annually. So we are lucky because we are on the, the day of Tong Shiu Pia. Mm -hmm. Tropical food. Nakambola. In the beach. 
Tropical fruit. Beef. Coconut. Yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know, dude. Because it doesn't taste so much like it. I think the... the, the yeah, they mix it with... They mix it with too many sugar. things. I love how it crumbles, though. Yeah. Similar cake, but different style. The Jakarta is much more dense and mm -hmm. thick. Uh, yeah, this one is a little bit airy. But when you eat this, oh. definitely have some water. Yeah. It's hard to get it down. Yeah. That's nice. Kelapa, the young... Very unique. A lot of crumbles, huh? Yeah, it's thick. Mm. It's good. I'm a fan of durian, but it's not like... It's taste is a bit like how do you scale down? Yeah, it's like tame. It's tame. It's not uh, too it's not, not too pungent. Great. You got this many food vocabulary. Mmm. No, no. Makasi. 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 Let's go. My man, next city. Next city is Pamalang, just uh, east of Tegal. Here we'll try several dishes, very authentic and specific from Pamalang. Nasi grombiang and sate loso. Let's go, Pamalang. Let's go, let's go. Vamos. Vamonos. Rapido. Are you ready? Another city? In Java Island, before uh, the growing of Muslim religion, Islamic religion, a lot of people actually Hindu, they are like in Hindu and Buddhism religion. So many cities, they got Hindu kingdom in the north coast of Java, like Kudus, like Homalang, the next city we are going to uh, searching for some food. And they don't consume uh, beef, so they consume buffalo. Water buffalo, they make a soup, they make satay out of it. So we are going to try nasi grombiang, Mr. Warso that serve uh, water, water buffalo soup with rice and some herbs. Nasi Grombiang in Pemalang town. Pemalang! We made it. We made it. Second town on this journey, right here on the coast. We're gonna have some buffalo soup. And we are going to have some satay. Satay, more yeah. satay. Satay, more hey, satay. This time with the sauce, bro. We need to add this the sauce one to it. With peanut sauce and they have uh, chicken. Chicken. I think it's one of the best satay, chicken satay in Indonesia. Wow. Yeah. Can't wait. I'm ready. All right. Let's go. Where's Ari? Right here? Yeah. Dua nasi grambian and uh, satay. Uh, satay. Satay. Eh, eh, lima satay. <laughs> Lima sate for me. Five, at least. So satu lagi. So we're adding one more because Tasso's gonna eat, and this looks insane. Rice, small bowl. Uh, so you have shallots. Then he gets the broth. Then he adds the meat, and it's not buffalo anymore. It's just beef. Oh, look at that beef. The broth, nice chunky. Smells amazing. So much aroma coming out of there. And then he adds this gravy on top. Crispy onions. Voila. And these satays, look at this, my friends. Dude, it's like a mix. You have like tripe in there. What else? You got like liver. So it's meat, tripe, liver, organs. Fantastic. I'm ready. And how much is this? How much? Dollar uh... ten. Dollar ten? Dollar ten cents. Dollar ten cents for the bowl. Yeah. And then like I guess a few, maybe like twenty cents per. Sato. Sate. 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 50 cents. 50 cents each? Yeah. God, I'm gonna have like 20 of them, man. It's too good. Wow. Satu dua tiga. Let's get it. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, bro. What are you doing to me? And I love how delicate the bowls are. So nice. Nasi in Pamalang. In Pamalang. Pamalang And what's this one over here? That's chili. That's sambal. chili. Yeah. This is like old. Chili and scallion. So add extra scallion as well. So we got extra scallions over here. Scallion over here. And then the sides, the beef satay. This is the beef, the tribe. We got everything here. The tribe. Organs. So happy. Babat. The Indonesian word is babat for tribe. Daging for beef. Ayo. 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 
Ayo, ayo makan. Ayo makan. So this is uh, stop number whatever. <laughs> we lost count already. <laughs> I'm already full, but I'm good. I'm we ready to go. We are in the north coast of Central Java, in the small town called Pemalang. It's one of the specialty. Is nasi? Nasi. Grom. Grom. Biang. Grom biang. Grom biang. It's like a very light soup with rice. Oh, it has rice. Chili. I didn't Some even rice. notice. Chili. Chili, a little bit. Some scallion, maybe? It's like a soupy, a, a soupy rice dish. Yeah. I love a live entertainment. And just small portion, so we can also try another bowl. Yeah, another bowl later. Later. And the side dish is satay, beef, and fried. Take some of the beef. The dressing actually grated coconut. They cook it until uh, releasing the oil. Mm -hmm. It's very thick. No peanut in the sari, but also very nice. So you can also add the... There's no peanut? No peanut. This is oh. grated coconut. Oh, coconut. wow. So you can add some to make your nasi grombiang you dressing. The sate sauce to your nasi grombiang to make it a little bit thicker. Wow. More flavorful because it's this like coconut sauce. Incredible. I'll say that. That tripe. Babak. 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 Okay, let's dig in. Mm. Mm. Oh. Warming. A little spicy. Beefy. A little spicy. Small bowl, so we don't have to worry. Mm -hmm. Some bones. Oh, yeah. Mm, very tender. So tender. And they're a little bit fatty, which is the correct types of beef for this kind of soup. A little bit fatty. The meat melts. Mm -hmm. Nice gravy. It's like a gravy. It's broth. Gravy, broth, or soup. Uh, chunky. First time on this trip that we have a dish that's like rice completely submerged mm -hmm. in the broth. And you will find many dishes in the uh, central part of Java like this. Oh yeah? In Solo, in Semarang, in Jogja. So they put the rice inside the bowl. This is like central Japanese thing. In mm -hmm. Jakarta, you have Soto Betawi, rice on the side. Got it. Soft rice on the side. In Bandung as well, same. And central Japanese, they eat in a small bowl and work with many uh, side dishes. Got it. When we touch Jogja, Solo, Boyolali, you will find soup like only in the small bowl like this. But you take many sad dishes to accompany the soda with. And is every town, you know, city completely different here yeah. in Central Java? Because it feels like in the last place, the food is completely different. The taste is very unique. Yeah, here is not main uh, good, good city. In Tagal, sate kambing everywhere, right? Mm -hmm. Everywhere is sate good. Here, a lot of different uh, food. Next in the Pekalongan, mm -hmm. heavy Chinese influence, heavy Arabian Arabic influence, because it's like the Baltic town, the trade town. So you will find an, uh, a lot of this with uh, influence from agriculture as well. The next town. Dude, I thought that was peanut. It's uh, coconut. It feels a little nutty. Yeah. Sweet. Wow, I'm being blown away. Dude, every dish, every dish of that broth. If you're sick, this oh, will cure yeah, you up. This one. A very tasty remedy. <laughs> For sure. Wow, the beef. Definitely not a place for vegans. <laughs> Not this country, no. We have the gado gado for you guys. Yeah, gado gado, but that's it. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're vegan, you got. Kupatahu. Kupatahu. What language do they speak here? Javanese? Japanese, yeah. Japanese with uh, ngapak dialect, so a little bit different than Japanese in Solo or Jogja or even Semarang, but we understand each other. I'm from. That, that's from Semarang and one from Solo, so I have uh, some dialects, uh, different dialects from. Uh, my parents, mm -hmm. but we also understand other part of Central Java that we speak uh, Japanese. 
But when you speak Japanese with the Eastern Japanese, they speak like a New Yorker. So fast, we're brain. Sometimes we're are you angry with them because they here in Central Java we speak soft tone. Okay, got it. Softer tone. So it's more of a laid back culture in Central Java. Culture. In the East, they speak like uh, fast and sometimes loud. So sometimes we are wow. getting, feels like we are getting scolded from the East Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> Japanese culture. It's amazing. This is like... It's beef. Beef? Taste stuff. I love that that the broth takes the, all the taste, you know? And the spice from the beef. Wow. No, it's delicious. It's very unique. Every flavor is like... I mean, every dish has like distinct flavors. Uniqueness, yeah. And be the like, beef? whoa! Yeah, like, the beef that. is like the explanation. So, like, people blow away by your explanation, explanation. That's the. Look, look. The, you got all this? The, the beef of this. Content. This is like, yeah. wow, it makes it okay, so much yeah. better. No! Oh. In Indonesia, yeah. <laughs> in Indonesia, the program that made the, the good Portugal, uh, where they have the, the rating. Mm -hmm. Also, the the program that usually use gimmick like this, like, like they they hire a soft boy, like oh, right? you know what I mean? I'm so good. Like, no. People love that. <laughs> it's like a shitty, I mean, shitty program. It's great to have the reaction, yeah. but I think it's more the context of why this is, you know? Because we inform a lot of stuff. That's the wow, dude! You get that? Like get all that and put it on your thing. <laughs> Even better, yeah, yeah, all that inside. Wow. It just adds so much richness to the dish. Wow, wow. Wow, wow. That's all I gotta say. Central Java? My hometown province. Jawa Tengah. He's from Solo and he rose solo. <laughs> Yolo guy with a New Yorker in heart. <laughs> Lama niat tidak bertemu Kanta, kanta Ingin diriku mengulang kembali Berjalan, jalan bagai tahun lalu Eh, hey, makasih Thank you Makasih, makasih Taking more home? Uh, Makasi! Let's go. Oh. He's got it too much. They're too nice. Next up, Sate Loso. Hello, hello. Hello. Sate Loso, pack no. Cas. Pama Lang. Come inside. Then they ran out. We order 10 beef satay uh, with fat and 10 without. Oh, so 10 beef with fat and 10 without? Yes. Peanut. Wow, bro. That's going to be insane. No, no, that's epicness right there. That's heaven in your mouth. Ari's telling me this is the best peanut dressing in all of Central Java. It looks amazing. Yeah, I see. Uh, yo, yo, difference, this is this meat, this one has fat. This is mixed with fat, so beef and fat, this is only beef. And then thick peanut sauce, so reddish peanut sauce, if you need some spicy and some chili, but let's uh, try it au natural. Au natural. Au natural.
Yeah. And it's the best, bro. So it was cooked with peanut sauce mm -hmm. and then added more. Yeah. Marinated peanut sauce, the tender, and add more. If you need more chili, then it's very smoky. Add chili? Mm. I don't even need chili with this one. It's like perfect. Wow. Central Javanese. Mm -hmm. Sweet. You can tell the taste is very different with the Betawi, the Jakarta, the Bandung dish. You can uh, actually feel the sweetness. No, oh, I'm so happy. From palm sugar initially. Mm -hmm. But the, the sweetness in Salah Javanese, the Javanese dish, not from the white sugar, but mostly from the, the palm sugar or the arena sugar. Oh. The type of uh, palm sugar syrup. How long have they been here? Almost 20 years. 20 years? Yeah. 20 years doing this a day. Mm -hmm. I personally like the, the fatty one better. Yeah. And you add some of the heat. Yeah. Many places in Central Java, they only offer one dish. Means that's the master, uh, they, they no, master of the dish. No, of course. I feel like when you go to a restaurant <coughs> and they have a hundred dishes, mm -hmm. they do some wrong. Yeah. There's no point. One, two, three dishes. Wow, beyond happy with this. Wow, Central Java full of sweetness. One of my favorite things in the world is satay. Never had satay as good. Every satay we had. And you, we thought it was going to be a lot, me and tassels, but no. This is just right. Ten? I can go all in. Finish all the sticks. Finish all the So we agree that we love the one with the, with mm -hmm. the fat, eh? The fat's better always. And it's good fat. Oh my God, it's so delicious. Sticky. No, it's a peanut one. The peanut dressing. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah, how about that? How about the best? Good luck, it's out there. Let's try it. It's the best, bro. It literally is the best. Thank you. Together. Yes, mm. What? When food's this good, it's a sin to leave it. All right. Big bro, we did it. 20, done. Now, the next city. <laughs> okay, let's go. Mahuna, Matuna Hun. The best satay. The best. And I can, I can, I can, I can, I can. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, sorry. No, she's in shock. Uh, let's go. <laughs> Magnus, Magnus, blew me away. Let's go, we move to another city in Central Java. Let's go. Oh. Wow, that was really good, man. So we're going to another city in uh, Central Java called Pekalongan. Pekalongan is the center of, one of the center of Batik in Central Java. Also a port city. Many influences from the Arabic culture, Oriental culture. We'll try tauto, a type of uh, soto, typical of Pakalongan. So they mix fermented soybean paste into the the broth. So like Pakalongan miso, spicy miso. Amazing. Pakalongan. Let's go to Pakalongan. So we did stop for about half an hour to get some drone stuff right there on the coast. Gorgeous, the first beach we see here in, in Java. Uh, most people come for the beaches. We came for the culture and the food. No, seriously though, it's been a great experience. Central Java, can't even believe it. This is like heaven, man. What a great, great region. Dude, it's amazing out here. Soto Bangdo. We're going for another soup dish. <laughs> no problem. You guys are the best. Hello, sir. 
Hello, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Where are you from? From America. Yes. Where are you from? Indonesia. No, I know, but this time from here. <laughs> What's your name? David, David. Okay. Pleasure. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. And yours? Your name? My name is Wawang. 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 Yes. I love it. Wawang. So what are we having today? Uh, I have a beef and chicken and special sauce named Taucho. Taucho is Taucho. fermented soybean. Fermented soybeans. Yeah, so in this part of uh, Chetal Java, the Soto called Tauto. 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 Got it. The taste is a little bit spicy. Yeah, it's red, yeah? Red, yes. But this is my middle name. <laughs> <laughs> and is this, so this is your family business? Yes. Family? My family. How, how many years in business? Uh, 30 years. 30 years. Same dish, 30 years. Yes. That's amazing. I know it's going to be good. Everybody here is eating. Oh my gosh. One That's chicken? One chicken. And one beef. One beef. Yes. With yes. tauto and with, 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 with everything. Yeah. And crispy. Give it a... Crispy. Intestine. 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 Crispy intestine. They have special condiments, the topping. Crispy in the times. Intestine. Crispy in the intestines. Crispy intestines. Yeah, chicken intestines. So in chicken intestines that have been fried. In here. Yeah. I always, I always order it with that. Perfect. Dude. Bring it. Bring it on. After this, uh, beef. Beef? So one beef, one chicken? Yes. It's chicken. Kalian. Special sauce is tau tau. Fermented soybean. It looks like peanut. Yeah, the taste is a little bit spicy. So, mm. <laughs> this is chicken broth. Very hot. This beef broth now. So each one has a different broth. Chicken with chicken, beef with beef. The special name is intensive crispy. Crispy intestines. Crispy intestines. Crispy intestines. Crispy intestines. 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 Ready to serve and to eat. Here we go, guys. Yes. Our soups. A photo? Yeah, we'll do a photo now, okay? <laughs> Everyone wants to take a photo of me. It's amazing. You wanna see it? I think we're gonna go over here. Here we go. Amazing soto. Bong <laughs> napatit. I got chicken tauto and you got beef. Chicken one is topped with crispy usus. It's uh, chicken intestine. So it's like bean sprout, some oh. uh, mung bean noodles, elephant noodles, sliced chicken, sliced beef, and that scoop of mm. taucho, taucho. Uh, red fermented bean sauce. Wow, this is insane. Fry broth. So chicken, chicken chicken taucho with chicken broth, beef taucho with beef broth. Oh, it's intense, man. Oh yeah. It is intense. Yeah. What a flavor. I love that here in Central Java, every town has its own unique dish. Mm -hmm. It just gets better and better, man. Look at that. Noodles, bean sprouts, got the shallots. Oh. Oh, it's so good, man. I don't know how to explain this. It's like slippery glass noodles and the beef, so tender. Sambal. There was sambal right there. That's spice. Look at that bite. Spicy, crunchy, very nice. Very, very delicious. It was too spicy, then you can have tofu or tempeh. 
to cool it down. Yeah. Yeah, so. Tame it down. What you should know is whenever you have chili or have a samba, you should have some fried thing, right? Mm -hmm. So, 30 years making the same soup. You have the Secret Service literally here, the President yeah. of the Secret Service. They came here because the President's in the next city we're going to, and they came here literally just to eat. The President was here this morning, in the event in the nearby uh, area. They finished their job here. The President moved to another city. They stay in just chill with the soto. With the soto. Well, guys, the broth, it's so rich. Oh, spicy. Incredible. And I like how it's small portions. Mm -hmm. Not too big. Of course, we've been eating all day. This is what? This number like 15? Me too. No. And here, we have salted egg. Just with broth. Yeah. So everywhere you're taking me on this trip, it's like they're all ranked number one for you in each place. Mm. Because there's other places here we can go to eat. Yeah. But this is the spot. This is one of the spots. And this one, they serve both chicken and beef. Some places they only serve beef or chicken, but this is the place that you can order both. And it's just after the toilet situation, it's easy to eat. I didn't know that much about Indonesian cuisine before the trip. But what I've learned on this one, on this journey, is that there's so much variation, of course, with the ethnicities, everything changes as you go, like one hour away. Of course, we're going in car one hour, but before, 200 years ago, there was no car. So that's it why- It was quite far. It was quite far. And uh, like the influence in East Town, that, that, that time, is very different. Like the, the influence here in Pakalama and the influence in Pamala and Kinabon, all different. You know, it's not too far from each other. That 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 time, they influenced by many outsiders, by many traders. Yeah, because the coast is right there. So China, Singapore, Malay, everybody came. Woo! Arabic, Indian, Persian. Insane. All right, guys, one last bite, and I'm done with this. I think we have one last dish after this. Look at that. Nice beef. So real. Right now, Indonesian food is in my top five foods of all time. Very good. It's one of my top one. <laughs> of course it is. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> Done. Oh, wow. Wow, that was so good. That was too good. One of the best noodle bowls of my life. Bangkok, I had amazing stuff. Here as well. Thank you, man. To finish my crispy time. <laughs> I love this guy, my big brother. You're like 25 years older than me. Huh? One some tasos, mau tasos mau makan? No makan. His stomach has reached the limit, the breaking point. <laughs> Dude, I'm like high off the fucking pep. I wish we would have filmed this, but everybody here tried my hot sauce and it was like a non-stop selfies. Like I took like 40 selfies right now. People here are so kind, so welcoming. I gotta tell you, I am so happy, so happy. I've had a lot of rough trips in the past few years, a lot. This one has been smooth sailing. Besides that my camera got a little messed up yesterday, but we fixed it with the lens, right? All right, let's go, let's go, one more dish. One last one. Last one, we're going to Pakalongan City Square and enjoy some dessert. That's good. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, man. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Nice Thank you. We made it here to the square. As you can see, never ending food vendors. Just doesn't end. Got the mosque, got a small square. And we're getting off right here to have. Is this this Sari Raus? Over there? Santan. Last stop. Es Santan. Es Santan, you can uh, order original or with durian. I guess let's get one of each.
Alright. This is S. Santan Kampur. S. Santan Kauman Pekalongan, and this is a coconut milk in with many fillings. Oh my gosh. Durian. Is it? It is so refreshing. Mm -hmm. Inside you get all the jellies. This is typical in Southeast Asia. That's atap seed, grass jelly, and. Is that bread? Safri sweet coconut milk. Yeah. Oh my gosh, so refreshing. Here in Asia, they love their jellies. No chocolate. The sweet notes to end our trip in Bakalongan. It's been an amazing day. Central Java is the best. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time in Samarang. Samarang. Peace.